and we are underway here at the Victor Oval. Up they go. Strathalbyn gets the tap down, comes out wide, socket off the ground there by Victor. Comes out. He gets picked up. He gets uh, tackled out there, and the umpire, which is umpire Alex, comes in for a ball up. Up she goes, goes around. Thump out there by Straff. Still another soccer off the toe tap off the ground. Comes out quickly to Strath Allen. Puts it out. Picks up off. Goes off. Handball goes inside. Comes around quickly off there to Reese Bartram. Bartram goes forward for Victor. Hits the ground up there. Up and down it goes. Strath Allen repelling quickly. Comes out. They go out the scoreboard side. Opposite side to us at the club rooms. Goes out there and he finds his player out on the back flank. Comes back inside. Finds his player in closer. Spins around now. This should be a fast game. Comes in and Mark Elliott ma- ma- marks it for uh, Strathalbyn. Up forward. Picking up now. They're picking out. Goes over to Mark Tucker. Tucker stabbles around. Gets the ball out. Couldn't get to his player. Picked up beautifully by Strath. In their forward pocket now. Comes on out. Goes over. Turns around. Picked all up and he's pushed over the boundary line by the Victor defender. And the ball in on the true pocket spot over here in Strathalbyn's attacking zone, Kev. Yeah, it's a long way away from us, but anyway, the boundary umpire throws it in. A good throw in by the boundary umpire. Picked up by Victor. Players got hold of it. Over the shoulder, says the umpire. And the free kick will go out here to Strathalbyn. He's got it now. He's 60 metres out from goal. Comes in. He'll take another kick from there. Or the player then should have marked that from Strathalbyn. And there's a long shot in down there from Strathalbyn. Marked right on the line by Victor. And the ball will be kicked in. Over it goes. And this one will go just across the boundary line and out of bounds. It wasn't a score before the kick was done. Taken inside the, the uh, square, goal square. Umpire throws it in again. Good throw in again by the boundary umpire. Taken down there by, by Victor. Player with the ball there was Zach Dowling. He gets it further down and this one should be picked up out here by Victor Arbor again. Over it goes there to player number 30 and uh, Neville. Neville it was. Tom Neville, was it? Yep. 31. And he got it back again. Yep. And now he goes, and here's a chance now, picked up by the player out in front of goal. Ooh. He was very, very close to the goal line out there, and he's missed it, and it is the first score of the game. It's one behind now to Victor Harbour. No score to Strathalbyn. Just letting you know, yeah. fellas, uh, I've got a problem with my screen here. YouTube is not uh, playing at my end, uh, so we might check it up above there when we've got a moment. No worries. It's... Uh, Tony will get down to here from with us, so it uh, goes up. But yeah, Batter missed that one. And uh, unusual for him. He just got off the inside of the boot, I'd say. So Strath Alba now with He's the too ball. Too close in the goal. Yes. <laughs> it goes. Comes out wide. Goes out the far side. Down the boot laces. Picked the harbour. Picks it all up. Handball goes back. Goes over. And it's intercepted in the back lines by Strath Alban. Defending up onto here. Goes over pushes this ball out now, the back flank. That bounces in front of it, going out quickly there, which was Lachlan Fox. He goes over. Handball goes out, up to the wing now. Spoil comes from behind by Straff on the Victor player, and she forces over the boundary line on the true wing position for a boundary throw-in. And the boundary umpire has just got there. I reckon we might have a father-son combination of the centre here and under the boundary. Kevy, I reckon both the Rices are out here. That's the Rices, are Up it goes, turns around, comes back down. Ruck comes down onto it. Victor Harbour should get a free kick from there. Didn't get a... He got away with that one. Comes back out, comes around quickly over here to Strath. Flick up the ball, goes back quickly as there is going onto there is... Uh, goes onto there as Elms, I reckon. Goes over, comes up quickly onto there. There it is. Did you catch who kicked that one, Kevy? Because I didn't catch it. No, so it's a... Victor Harbour get the first major score on the board here. So...
Beachside Bedding next to Habra Pharmacy is your local sleep specialist, featuring SA Made Bedding from Sealy, AH Beard, and Adriatic Slumber. Mary and her team at Beachside Bedding also offer a beautiful range of locally made Flurio furniture. Beachside Bedding offers free delivery and old mattress removal, and is open Monday to Saturday at 295 Port Elliot Road, Habra. Always competitive on price with real product knowledge. Beachside Bedding. Up it goes, knocked down there by Heath Trelaw for Will Victor. And it goes down to Strathalbyn now, they've got hold of it, and that's Lachlan Fox that's got it. And there'll be a race over there towards the boundary to pick it up, and the ball is very close to the boundary line at the moment, but they'll keep it in here. And the Strath player there hit him on the chest, bounced off. And here's a chance now for Victor Harbour to get the ball out loose. Here's a long hand pass, got, got out there to... Matthew Wees and down the forward line it goes out there. Oh, that's a one hander down there by the Victor Harbour. Sam Overall. Sam Overall. Grab it one hand. Ex South player local lad went down there and had a great career with them. And he's back and uh, he certainly keeps himself fit. He could have probably another year or two down there if he wanted it. Probably could have got away with it. Mm. In he comes, shot for goal, it goes over the top of the post as it touches on the way through. It's all clear. FP Ag, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FP Ag Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sale options and they also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag, with five fully stocked branches across the Flurio, there in your field. It's different, isn't it? You know, normally a Sunday, perhaps Monday's not too bad, but it throws everything out from Tuesday and uh, one train to run you back into on the Saturday, so. Oh, uh, well, that's so, the way it goes. You can't have everything. That's uh, the Anzac Day game, so that's what they got. So she comes back to the centre there with up by Alex. He throws it up. Up they go. No one really gets it up and down. Smashed out by Strath. Straight into their hands. And it goes up there. And in the full in the centre half back position is Victor Harbour, I reckon, and Jay Cooper. Jay Cooper, yeah. J.D. Cooper puts it over, goes over to his player there, Harry, Harry Vincent, who kicks off and that misses his player, gets touched, and it goes over the boundary line in front of the interchange of the club rooms here. For a throw in. Always picks up a few kicks, Harry Vincent. Not a very big fella, but he gets his share of the ball. Yeah, he runs. His old man yeah. was a bit like that too. Yeah, so build up. <laughs> so yeah, goes up and down, comes back down. Victor Harbour quickly in McKinnon. McKinnon goes off, goes forward, up and turn. That's a strong mark over there. And that one goes to Michael Ross. Michael Ross goes out. Basham comes out. Looked a bit high from the side. I reckon the umpires picked that one. Looked like Basham got one across the side of the head there we'll just see if it comes back yep he's certainly lining up the spoil coming it was a bit high and uh, he will get a uh, another kick now directly in front sam basham a couple of bashams out there isn't it i think it's only still the one isn't it's it so one, is it i think the other the other one's not there last they yeah. here they do yeah well, they've advertised that they're both here but so uh, whether the other lads playing reserves i don't know Anyway, they're not very far out. They have a shot for goal, probably 20, 25 metres. There's a shot. The ball's gone up high. It's gone through the goals this time. And that is another goal to Victor Harbour. Don't be the next victim of a home invasion. Pull over. Let's rob this joint. Great Southern Security will install a home security system with monitored alarm to protect your home or business. They also provide CCTV, mobile patrols, cash transit, event security and a test and tag service. Looks like this place has got its own secretary. What do you mean secretary? That sign. You idiot, that's security. This place has got an alarm. Visit greatsouthernsecurity.com.au Better jump on them today so far. Ball is back in the centre. Goes up, up she goes. Up they turn around, comes back out down through there, and that one there is Trelaw. Trelaw gets there, comes out, quickly picked up there by, uh, sorry, McKinnon. by uh, McKinnon. 
McKinnon's couldn't get a real kick away. Comes out wide, goes out to Strathalbyn. Strathalbyn in the charge there with Jake Stafford. Goes off, but poorly directed and picked up there by uh, Michael Ross. Goes over. Nobody really wants to pick it up. Ross gets in, wraps the Strathlayer up. And on the true wing position by the scoreboard, they turn around for a throw up by the central umpire. Up she goes. Body on body, goes up, comes back down, straight to their feet. Picked up quickly there by Thomas Welk. Turn around. He can't do anything with it and comes back to the umpire. Another repeat there. Up he goes, turns around, goes up, turns around, trying to get out of there. It's Kane Cooper for Strath. Can't get it down. Picked up beautifully. Handball's back inside. Interceptor there quickly out by Vincent. Goes over. Comes out quickly over here now. Clyde. Barillo picks the ball up for Victor. Handball's off wide. Goes to McKinnon. McKinnon gets the ball up. He goes out. Goes off quick. Up to full forward. And then it turns around, grabs up there again. And that one there is Victor Harbour once again there in overall. Yeah, He's certainly giving him a handful up there, isn't he? Well, he is. Early. He's straight out of league football. So. Yeah. Comes off. He kicks in. Goes out there. Looks at that. That's poor defensive work and hits his blows at player. Daniel Stock on the chest. And he's directly in front, probably only 25, perhaps 30 metres out. So, Victor Harbour certainly got the start here. Strath don't arrest this and get something back. It, uh, it's going to be a hard road for him. Just apologies to our YouTube viewers if you're not getting the action. I'm not in the studio here. We've got the uh, the graphic up. Apologies, but uh, uh, we're working on it, obviously. Audio is A-OK -okay through Happy FM. Right, we'll work on there because we've got the graphics for a day. So there goes the kick on the board. Do you want instant cash? Drop off your deposit bottles and cans and scrap metal today at South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots in Victor Harbour, Goolwa and Yankalilla. South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots offer undercover drop-off facilities and the Goolwa Depot is open seven days a week. To see opening times, the latest prices and the items that can be dropped off for recycling, visit southcoastrecycle.com.au. So it's taken a little while for the ball to get back to here and umpire Rice has the ball at this moment. Turn around, we'll still get Tony up here to try and get onto this graphics of why they're not going through to YouTube, but uh, we'll have to reset on it. Up they go, big jump up by Straff, get the kick out. Not really effective out, comes out to the wing now. Campbell's back goes quickly through there and Marchin. Marchin goes over and the umpire's picked a throw. And we'll get around and we'll come back here to Victor Harbour to Reese Bartram on the wing. He goes off. Oh, that's a floater. Terrible. Goes off. Intercepted by Strath. Strath comes out. Finds his player out here and finds him on the chest here. And Noski. Aaron Noski goes off forward. There's a late spoil coming out. Strath picks it all up and goes over here to Fletcher Duffield. That would be Duff's does wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, there you go. The years pass off quickly. Man, he'll be good, won't he? Yeah. <laughs> I remember seeing him not that long ago when he was in the senior Colts. He was uh, going, so he certainly stepped up. So, can he be a centre-half forward, full forward like his dad was? In he comes, drives his ball, kicks it all up. Umpire's going a fair way, though. Misses badly there, so Strath Alvin fights on the scoreboard. FBA scoreboard, Strath at one point to Victor Harbour, four goals one. And he kicks it in there to his teammate and he'll take the mark in the forward pocket. And down the ground it goes and Victor in front down Kleine. there and it's Dylan Kleinig that's marked that one. And Kleinig kicks it down the centre half forward area and some must have got in their eyes down there because player Clark. there has got the ball is Adam Clark. The Clark kicks it over the towards the scoreboard side of the ground over there and there's a battle on between four of them. Two two from each side to the other one from Victor joined in. But the free kick's been paid out here to Barilla. Barilla. Yeah. Strathbar dived on the ball and took his legs out. First time yeah. I've seen that for a long time. Barillo's got it now and he kicks it down the forward line to Pick the players, go for the mark. And Ross. the mark is taken this time by Ross. Michael Ross. 
and he's kicked it in, and Victor got it again. Overall. I reckon that's gone to Sam Overall. Yep. And Sam Overall can add to his goal-kicking tally. What do you he got a fair few down the league, didn't he? Yes. Yeah, he was a good goal-kicker for them. For South? Yep. Anyway, in he comes now to have a shot. And there he kicks it. And a fire looks happy. And the goal umpire decides to mark it rather than signal a goal. Victor Tire Power are your local one-stop shop for all tyres, wheels and batteries. Tire Power are Australia's biggest independent tyre retailer, which means you get the power of a big range of the big brands, expert advice and lower prices. Get the power of a local owner and operator. Get the power of great service that keeps you coming back. Get the power. Victor Tire Power, 161 Hindmarsh Road, Victor Harbour. For years, that's good going, and that's today's halftime hub interview brought to you by FPAG in their field. Back in the centre, up she goes, goes up. Nobody really gets it up from the ruckman. Comes to ground, picks up there. Beautiful McKinnon comes out to it, tries to get away with it, gets it up there, and I think he's gone for holding the ball. And Strath will be recipients. Turn around, goes off, he comes out wide, finds his player out there, Mark Elliott. Mark Elliott plays on quickly as he always does. Centre half forward, Victor picked all up, handball comes over, comes out wide, comes over now, turns around, Vincent tries to get onto it, doesn't Shepherd, doesn't get onto it there, and uh, Braden Miller sees it over the boundary line, right in front of and us. And the runner here. nearly got cleaned up. Yep, yeah. he turns around, we goes up to it. So, boundary umpire with it now. Got it. I reckon that's the rice. Puts it all up. Well done. Good throw in. It's done it out there. Comes back out by the ruckman. Comes down to Vincent. Vincent overruns it for Victor. Hairball comes back. Steps around quickly. That one there was then was Marchin. Marchin goes, kick goes up forward. Goes around. Picked up by Strath. That one's turned around. Kicked over. Over the back goes off. Off hands. And she's touched. It just comes off of there. We'll give that one out quickly there to. Duffy would again, I think, but it was a bit of few boots. And there. play goes on from that behind now. It goes down the far side of the ground. Strathalbyn has got the ball. He's on the ground over there. He didn't see who it was. It's one of the bigger fellows there. That I guess gets O'Grady, I reckon, hands it back. I think he was injured a couple of years ago and didn't complete the season. But anyway, they kick it further down the ground now. And here from Victor is Tom Neville's got the ball. He kicks it down to Ross. his teammate Ross and there's plenty of them standing around there yeah. because it's gone over the top there to Dowling. Zach Dowling and uh, Dowling this is a training run isn't it? it's out of the moment again it's not even a training run out there at the moment too many Strath players standing with their hands on their hips watch yeah and overall we'll have another shot he's got two goals already we have only been playing oh, what's that about uh, 20 three minutes I think in that quarter and that looks like it could be another goal it is and that is overalls let's talk about your new shed you want it tough you want it to look good you want it to last for years you want shed x flurio the experts in design and construct if you can dream the shed they can build the shed dream it design it build it with shed x flurio from initial design through to finished construction, your project is in trusted hands with Shedex Flurio. Quality workmanship and experience you can trust. Shedexflurio.com.au. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's not very often. Normally down here, if you see a six, seven to goals break in the first quarter, it's enough to uh, see them out for the game. Very hard to turn that around, even though there's still three quarters left. The other side really. We'll see if they can get it out of the centre now. Is the Umpire comes in to throw it up. In he comes. Centre circle, tosses the ball up high, up they go, in go the ruckman again. Strap get this one out of centre. But oh, it went straight past. It might be no grading that went straight past it. Back it goes this time. It's gone over there to Riley Clamp. And all oh, the player, then what's he going to do here? Hold, Hold the, the ball. ball. Didn't get his fit onto it. He didn't get his boot there, and uh, Jade Cooper gets the ball back in and finds his teammate over the far side of the ground. 
he kicked it down there near the near the boundary line over there. When uh, Reese Klein, he had it briefly, got rid of it, and Victor now should have it. They've got the numbers out there. There's five on. Was five to one there at one stage. Umpire, let's play. Go on. And calls it up, and he will throw the ball up now, close to centre half forward for Victor. Gets it up. Ruckman go up. Get a big knock down. Ball comes out loose once again. Picked up. Chance here for overall to get it. He decides he couldn't get it down there and the ball will go over near the boundary line and the mark is taken over there by Mark, Mark Elliott. And then it comes, kicks it further down and it's gone out there uh, to Ben Simmons. It'd be his first touch, I reckon. Yeah, it looks like it. And normally he's up with the goal kickers. Strath Alvin now has got a chance to put the ball right down in their scoring area. Duffield they do, takes and it. Duffield comes out, takes the mark. Down in the half forward line, kicks it out there. The big bloke out there, he's taken some marks for Victor. Number 25, I think it was, and that's Jade Cooper. Cooper puts it into the centre half back area, and the mark has been taken by Victor Shocker. now, and that was a terrible kick. But it's gone over there. Here's it held on to it too long. Yeah, they held on to it that for too long, and it's gone down into the forward line now, and gets a nice bounce. The player run out with that. It's not a good kick, but I think it'll work out all right. He puts his head down, and it's gone over there now to stop. Daniel Stock. And Stock, look at this. And he got overall. overall out there. There's no one within a mile of him. And overall decides he'll just kick it down. It's like a practice run out there. It's gone over the top there to um, one to Tom he Neville. Might go for that one. He slammed him into the ground. Shook him up a bit too. And the free kick has gone now to, to Strath. Uh, Strath Alvin's got it in the centre half back position. Kicks it over the up room side over there. And the player there's got, got a sling. So he's got a free kick. down on the ground a bit hard. Advantage was now to go on, and here comes overall, and he's he missed it. Oh, he's got it back in. I reckon it's gone back in. Yeah, it was curling, wasn't it? With over 180 years of farming family know-how behind us, Pro Stock Livestock will help you with all your livestock needs. Pro Stock will get you the best price for your livestock when buying or selling, and will even help you muster and transport them. Wherever you are across the Flurio Peninsula or anywhere in South Australia, we'll offer you the highest quality, professional yet personal service. So give ProStock Livestock a call to discuss your needs today. Visit us online at ProStock.com.au. We couldn't peg it back in the end, but... Uh, they got close. Yeah, but uh, it was always that break though, which is hard to, we've mentioned, hard to make up. So, umpire Alex with the ball here. Comes up, goes back up, goes up. Law tries to get it all out, can't really get it. Goes down to it, comes back down, Strath gets the ball out, out the back, and it can't get onto it. Goes over, Smother tries to go onto it, up full forward, comes over, overall goes over the top again, turns around, Strath tries to break through, can't do it, he gets wrapped up, and he'll be on the uh, forward pocket there for Victor Harbour. Well, so they've got what? Should be getting close to time, I'd say. Up oh, there about go. 24 minutes. Goes out there. The ball goes out quickly out through there in Welk. Welk for Strath comes up, kicks smothered. Goes out onto a dangerous pocket. Butler tries to get over to it. Can't get to it. And turns around. It'll be a ball up, or is he? Throw in, I reckon. Yep, I reckon it's gone over the boundary line. It was touched, so the boundary umpire in that forward pocket for Victor Harbour, though. So they're going along nicely here. Up they go. Basham's in the ruck. He uses his body. Can't get out with it, though. Turns around. Ross tries to get it. Comes all out. Handball goes back by Victor. Picked up by Strath. That one there was Jake Stafford. He can't get away. And umpire Rice comes in for a ball up. Is the other Rice, the third Rice there? Don't know. I don't think the other lad, the other side or not. But anyway, yeah, goes we'll up. See. Comes out there. Strath Alvin up the wing. Sounds like uh, Elliot. Mark Elliot with the ball for Strath. It's on the back flank. Goes off short, kicks, goes out wide, just at the boot laces there of his player. Turns around, picks it all up. Can't pick it up, that'd be close to the end. The man wouldn't have been uh, Riley Clamp, it goes up and down. Simmons can't get to it. 
track get wrapped up. Where it gets put over the boundary line, so it'll be a boundary throw in. Pick up, is that another rice there, Kevy? Because the stat back will like it. <laughs> they look a little bit like it, doesn't it? It could be, yeah. Could be a family affair out there. Up it goes, Trelaw gets it for Victor, puts the ball down, goes out forward, finds his player on the chest. And that one there would be Zach Dowling. Zach, uh, no, it's not, it's 12, goes around onto there. So yeah, it was Zach. So Zach goes out wide and he finds it. Barilla. Barilla well, turns up, he's gone, yeah. has to go under that. So he turns around, has an opportunity, and got caught by Keating. Keating for Strathalbyn. Back pocket. So, goes out the back flank, actually, which is in front of the scoreboard. Up over the back, goes up Strath. So, missed it out there, and Clamp comes over to Kleinick. Kleinick gets his ball for Victor. Comes back again. Almost a one-handed in front. That looked a bit high. Up by right, right under it. there, yeah. and see it. And he turned around, and uh, Kleinick's not happy about it. Butler gets it for Strath. Goes forward. On the chest leading out is a player there in Riley Clamp. Crows player in their reserve side. Has been playing up and down all season through there. Comes back. He plays he must just about a football wanderer. Played Tuesday. Come back Saturday. Oh, yeah. Played the weekend Playing before. Playing every day. Crows, I think so. He's dropping around everywhere. So in he comes. Kick three in the Crows here only a couple of weeks ago. Drives off, gets onto that one. He's boomed that one too wide, and he's missed completely out there. And it's a minor score. It's probably right on his distance. He's going a good 65 out, and uh, he got close and just had to pull it, which normally happens when you try to kick him too hard. It's about 27 minutes gone. Yeah, going on to there. There's been a few goals, so a bit of time on. Back pocket now, Victor. Gets this ball up. Drives it out. Good kick from there. Overall goes up. And strong hands, which you get from there. Reads the fly. Draws down onto him. Overall gets it. Has the run on the ball now. Goes up. Goes forward. Over the top. Fingertip trying to get to it was McKinnon. McKinnon can't go over. Strath recover. They go out through in Cooper Mutchen. Mutchen goes out and finds his one in Austin McFarlane. McFarlane comes out. Finds his player out quickly there. And that goes to Joel Hodgson. Lisa controlling the ball now, getting a bit of leg power back in. Comes up, big long kick up forward, up and too early, unrealistically. He turned around, big jump, got in front of the players, couldn't get to it, and it goes to Victor Harbour in Rhys Much. Much puts the ball up, goes off, spore comes from McKinnon, goes over, goes off, it goes up to Oval. Oval goes off quickly to Ross. Ross for Victor. Puts the ball up. He finds his running player there and Neville. Neville drives off. Puts the ball up and he misses to the narrow side. So that's another minor score to Victor Harbour. They go to seven goals to, to Strath. Two points on the FPA scoreboard. Mm, the ball will be brought back in. Down among the cars. This will be a long quarter of football. This one. A few goals kicked out there. Seven all to Victor as Strath will bring the ball back in again. Decides to kick it in and go over the club room sides, which he does do. There are lots of red jumpers over there, and the ball's been marked down there by Austin McFarlane. McFarlane kicks it in towards the centre. There's a player out there, Victor Fahad, comes in, just starts to kick it. Bit of volleyball going on out there at the moment. And will they keep it in? No, they won't keep it in, and the umpire will come and throw it in. Right in front of the new club rooms here at Victor Harbour. Taking their time to throw it in. Yeah, he sets himself and has been trained properly. Not a bad kick in. Or we'll throw, throw in. in. <laughs> he goes over here to to um, Jesse McKinnon. McKinnon will come in and have a long shot in for goal. He's missed it. Uh, but I think somebody else has got it though, haven't they, at the moment? All clear, 16, McKinnon. FP Ag, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FP Ag Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sale options and they also offer an on-farm delivery service. 
FP Ag with five fully stocked branches across the Flurio. They're in your field. No great wind, the flag is just fluttering down there. It's not blowing out much. Yeah, it's a bit of cloud cover here, but it's all white. It's a little bit grey one up there, but it's, uh, I don't think it's any threatening in it, unless it comes in late. But 30 minute quarter. Yeah, back in the centre. Umpire Alex has got it. Up she goes. Trelaw gets it down. Handball goes up, comes out through there, and that one was Zach Dowling. Goes up, and there goes the siren. So we have it at quarter time here at the Victor Oval. The home side of Victor Harbour have kicked eight goals, two to strap two points to visitors on the FBA scoreboard, and that's certainly a huge go there, Kevy. So this is 90.1 Happy FM, great sort of footy match of the round on air and YouTube. Don't be the next victim of a home invasion. Pull over. Let's rub this joint. Great Southern Security will install a home security system with monitored alarm to protect your home or business. They also provide CCTV, mobile patrols, cash transit, event security and a test and tag service. Looks like this place has got its own secretary. What do you mean secretary? That sign. You idiot, that's security. This place has got an alarm. Visit greatsouthernsecurity.com.au Beachside Bedding next to Habra Pharmacy is your local sleep specialist featuring SA-made bedding from Sealy, AH Beard and Adriatic Slumber. Mary and her team at Beachside Bedding also offer a beautiful range of locally made Flurio furniture. Beachside Bedding offers free delivery and old mattress removal and is open Monday to Saturday at 295 Port Elliot Road, Habra. Always competitive on price with real product knowledge. Beachside Bedding. Okay, a little check into there, going too, so up here it goes, and down, comes out, socket off the ground by Strath, in that goes, picks up there by Elliot, tried to get it out, up there Fenrar forward, turns around quickly, comes out to Zach Dowling, Dowling gets it all out, comes forward, and a good strong mark there going to Daniel Stock. Daniel Stock runs back, turn around, goes off, kicks this ball up forward now, goes over, in front, up and down, comes out, and it gets over here to McKinnon. Jesse McKinnon's kick was poor, goes straight in the arms of Strath. Strath come out with it, goes to McFarlane. McFarlane goes out, spoil comes late, and he turned around to be a Strath free kick over on the far side. Not sure, it could be Ashton Hoffman, but uh, goes off. He finds his player further up and goes off into there. I reckon that one there could be O'Grady. Yeah, it looks. Light, yeah, it? O'Grady comes in for Strath, back flank, drives this ball up, up onto the wing it goes, comes out, hands comes off hands, it goes over the boundary line for a throw in on the just forward of the wing for the Strath advantage. Bighorn Creek, four goals, three, McLaren Districts, three goals, four, quarter time. Thank you for that. So that's one score we've got coming in. It so is Richard O'Grady, the the only one out there with a long sleeve jumper on. Yep, thought it was he got the free kick then, Kevy. Yep. So he's gone off full forward, straight on the chest there. I reckon that one out there is Jack Dowling once again. He comes out club room side. That's a good grab up there by Matthew Wees. Wees for Victor, puts the balls off, goes off, comes forward, goes over the back, overall. Tries to get to it, thrown out the back out there to Butler. Butler for Strath, goes off, Smith come... Uh, Ball comes off hand, goes straight around here to Ket Ketting. Ketting goes off, but Victor gets around. And that's a little bit of a nudge and a shove, and I reckon, oh, he's paid the mark. Paid the mark. Basham thought he might have had it, but he's gone back. So he goes over to there, quickly over there to Ketting. For Strath, goes off. He gives it over to his player there in McFarlane. McFarlane goes off, over the top. Turn around, can't pick it up out there. O'Grady slings this player around and it gives away the tackle there. The umpires are not standing for that, so Jay Cooper for Victor Harbour. They won't let you swing them, which is good. In they come. Now it goes. Cooper drives this ball up to the 50 metre arc, goes up. Off hands, comes round. Mark Elliott tries to push it out, goes back into it again. Handball's out wide. Guess O'Grady. Grady goes straight over there to Godfrey. Godfrey goes out, goes up there and finds his player forward there in Jake Stafford. Jake Stafford, short kick, goes into the pocket, 
goes out wide, goes over, Simmons, Simmons swings the by handball back in, tries to find his player there and right, he gets tackled, gets put down, turn around, ball still goes over, shoves in the back of there and Strath will be a recipient of the mark there. He handballs off, goes over quickly, kick goes forward, up forward, come out there and I reckon that could be Hoffman. Wait for him to turn around. I bet you he turns the opposite way. He no, don't. no, no, that's Riley Clamp. Couldn't pick up whether it was a Should five be able or to a do his goal kicking this this weekend <laughs> or this oh, yeah. last week. Well, uh, I think Strath will be just quite happy to see him add to their list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he's just outside 50 here. Come up to the 50 metre line. Yeah. Now players well in inside, and the ball now is a long kick in. It's going to fall short, and umpire's given the all clear. Don't be the next victim of a home invasion. Pull over. Let's rob this joint. Great Southern Security will install a home security system with monitored alarm to protect your home or business. They also provide CCTV, mobile patrols, cash transit, event security, and a text and tag service. Looks like this place has got its own secretary. What do you mean, secretary? That sign. You idiot, that's security. This place has got an alarm. Visit greatsouthernsecurity.com.au Played a lot of big ray football in Counter Bay and took up up, Brian, and does a real fine job too. Up he goes, pushes all down, comes back down, picked up quickly there by Dowling. Dowling for Victor, goes forward. Goes up around there, comes out here quickly to Michael Ross. Hand turns, goes around, goes out to Jackson Elms. Elms goes over, comes over to Dowling. Dowling goes over, kicks it all forward. Minor score only. So there's a minor score to Victor Harbour. They go to eight goals, three on the FBA scoreboard, to one goal, two for Strath. And the ball will be brought back in. Oh, it has been brought back in and it's been marked in the back pocket down there by Strath and he's kicked down and he found his teammate down there the player was too tall for the little bloke from Victor and looks like Strath Albert have got their kicking boots on at last and there's a mark being taken by Strath and they'll kick it down to their forward line it goes over the back and there's going to be a free kick paid here to Cooper I think to Victor it's gone out there to Cooper, and Cooper looked up, and it's gone over there now to Ross. Ross kicks it further down the ground. There's players down there everywhere, and it goes over to Tom Neville. And Tom Neville will kick it further down. He's got a player leading for him. We don't want to kick it to him, though. He's going to kick it over his head. That's where it's gone. Here's a chance Vincent. now, and that is Vincent, is it? That's yep, I reckon it was. It. And, and Vincent... He is. FP Ag, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FP Ag Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sale options and they also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag, with five fully stocked branches across the Flurio. They're in your field. Goal two to Strathalbyn on our FP Ag scoreboard. Yeah. Yeah. Up at six goals to Yankalilla Zip, zero, quarter time. No score from Wollonga and Counter Bay as yet. My Ponga Silex, four goals, one. Goulwood Port Elliott, two goals, two. Back to you, fellas. Umpire throws the ball up in the centre. Up it goes. Victor comes through, get the knock. Strath Alban got the ball though, and it's taken away from him down there by Jesse McKinnon. McKinnon gets it over to Ross. Ross gets a hand pass over of sorts, and it's gone over to Strath, and he tries to bounce the ball, but someone's got out of him. And that's the easiest decision anyone's ever made. Butler. <laughs> and Butler will. Yeah, he got, here's the way they got caught with Strath, so it goes to Ross. And Ross will be too far out to score, though he might be able to yeah, get that. He, he'll kick it outside 50. He's going to pass it no. off. Well, he's going to kick it out here, and the player, he kicked it to him, kicks it a little short, and now the player is right, he should put a set of stirrups and a saddle on him. Eh? Well, 
Well, you want it with a whip to get him going, but uh, the umpire comes and says, I'll throw it up. Up it goes. Down it goes. Strathalman leading the race for the ball. It comes out there, has gone out there to Mark Elliott. Elliott kicks it further down the ground and it went over then to Bailey Nisbet. And his kick has gone out of bounds on the full and will be brought back in. And the Victor player kicks it further down the ground out there and oh, there's a, another mark taken out there by Ross. And Ross has marked it on the forward pocket and in the far side of the ground and he knows he's too far out to score so he just kicks it in out there and it's easily marked down there by Daniel Stock. Well, under five goals, six quarter time, a counter bay, one point. Ooh, thanks for that, Ian. Yeah, we just got them through too. So as we wait here for Daniel Stock, who has kicked one in the first quarter to get up onto here. They said they will give you a quick round up onto there. So sets himself. He's got a pretty acute angle. He's right on the boundary line there, isn't he? Yeah, and I think he's probably a right footer too. Which is not going to help his angle. Oh, perfect for it. No, it was a left, left footer. No, oh, that was perfect for See? it. See? And perhaps he, yeah, he's missed. Yeah, well, has he? Yes, it has. One point only. So it's nine goal four now, Victor Harbour. One goal two to Strathalbyn. Strathalbyn with the ball. Ready to bring it back. Comes the club room side. Drives this ball up, hangs it out here, comes up there, goes up, Riley Clamp can't get to it, Victor can't get it to it, goes well, out through there, <laughs> there, goes over, kicks out, Victor uh, Strather in the run here with Godfrey, Godfrey goes off forward, goes around, McKinnon tries to get it, can't out, uh, sorry, Elms tries to get it, can't get out. Victor now in control again from the back lines, goes out wide, finds it out there and Cooper, Cooper goes off further, goes out there and finds his player and they had the shot the last time there in at Daniel Stock. Stock goes off, goes forward, out comes Basham and this is a training run and a drill. They're just moving the ball, throwing it around and hitting their targets which is open and straight. Well he won't be able to kick it into the house chasing. from there. <laughs> yeah. It's a, yeah, he's a... So, lines up now. You can normally just about lob it in the front lawn. Yeah. The house over there. From Prodigious kicker. There, yeah, that's gone up. Height of the goal post. Going through, back. through the goals, and that is goal. With over 180 years of farming family know how behind us, Pro Stock Livestock will help you with all your livestock needs. Pro Stock will get you the best price for your livestock when buying or selling and will even help you muster and transport them. Wherever you are across the Flurio Peninsula or anywhere in South Australia, we'll offer you the highest quality, professional yet personal service. So give ProStock Livestock a call to discuss your needs today. Visit us online at prostock.com.au. 5-6, Encounter Bay, one point. Mount Compass, 6-2, Yankalilla, yet to score. Back in the centre, up they go, completely over when at Trelaw. It goes up and down, Strath take it out there. Goes over, tackled as he went to kick it. Can't get the boot to it, and it gives away the free kick there. And that one goes to Dylan Kleinig. So Riley Clamp now gets with it. Just laid the tackle in time. Bump, put him off the uh, ball. Could get a boot to it because it's dropping the ball. So free kick. Lines up. He'll be kicking from a uh, good 50, I'd say. I reckon that line's just in front of the player. So he'll get himself 50-odd. 13, nonchalantly plays golf when he does it. Clamp gets real close to the player again, not liking the distance. And he turns around and goes through for a minor score. He probably did a lot to see his one back goal, then. One <laughs> goal, three. I think he just realised that 55's probably on his limit. And he tries to get too close and yeah. hoiks it above it because then you lose the uh, your accuracy. Ball will be brought back in by Victor now. There's a, a long kick in almost down by the scoreboard. And, Player out there, that's number 22 again, Cooper, I reckon. Cooper, 25, he's playing all right. And he, I'll kick it back in again, down there. And Simmons. Uh, has it, where is it now? Has it been touched or marked? No, marked by Simmons. 
right just fl drifted over the pack and he was at the back of the pack and just running back towards goals and just grabbed it at his fingertips. Should not miss this one, can be a bit cursed if he does. It will be, won't it? <laughs> and then Simmons has put through... Do you want instant cash? Drop off your deposit bottles and cans and scrap metal today at South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots in Victor Harbour, Goolwa and Yankalilla. South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots offer undercover drop-off facilities and the Goolwa Depot is open seven days a week. To see opening times, the latest prices and the items that can be dropped off for recycling, visit southcoastrecycle.com.au got to do for the rest of this game is just virtually answer what happens to uh, Strath and uh, they'll well walk out comfortable winners on this game. We've got to pick a close one one day, don't we? Ken? We do. Out of, <laughs> just as we're not out of, out like of 18 rounds, you think we must get them pretty good. Back in the centre, mm -hmm. umpire Rice throws it up. Strath can't get it out with Simmons. Comes over to uh, overall. Overall in ruck. Has a run. That shows how handy he is. Comes around quickly. Victor now with a kick forward. Goes up. Up and under. In front it goes back down. Comes around. Talked out of it there. Was overall gets it. Kicks it centre. Up goes up there. Butler comes out. He gets grabbed. He can't get away with it. And she comes out and bees a ball up. Centre half forward for them. Out those Simmons backhands it down for Strath. Kick goes forward. Handball goes out by Strath. Handball over. Goes again. Handball goes over quickly out there to Kednick. Kednick goes out. Goes over. Finds his player. Horse smothered. Handball goes out. Butler can't get to it. Over. Runs it for Strath. Tackles. Comes up there. Goes out. Out wide. Handballs by Victor. Another series. Bartram finishes. Drops it out there. Turn around. Goes up. Comes out, they control the ball though. It goes forward up there, it goes out there and hits the chest there McKinnon. of McKinnon. McKinnon with the ball, goes forward. Basham can't get to it, but he's being held onto, dragged around and will be the recipient of the free kick. Too much height for the Strath player there and the body couldn't dislodge him. An easy free given away. So Basham lines himself up, kick one in the first, one in the second. He's going for second this quarter, probably 35 metres out. Said he's a prodigious kick, gets a good hoof into it, goes off, steadily goes. The umpire's working and guess what, there goes the curse. Yep. So it goes over, Basham misses a easy set shot there which you'd expect him to get most times. I think he only half kicked it though. Yeah, he, he just, just sort of lifted the foot but yeah. yeah, that's, you know, try to steer him but uh, comes back out that happens. So Strath will bring the ball back in. Yeah, Butler with it. Butler's got it. He goes over to the left hand side of the ground. He's got a teammate in the right in the back pocket area there. That's right I reckon. And he'll put the ball down the line and they can We've got it well set up down there at the moment, Strath Allen. They're all short They'll kicks. Do it though, again. Aren't they? They're short kicks, but if, if you can keep them short and keep control of the ball, though, it's all right. Let's see what happens here. It might come a thud in a minute. And, and there right it is. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> and he's kicked it straight over there and it's gone straight to Victor Harbour. Cooper, I reckon. And Cooper's got the ball. Umpire tells him to hurry up and kick it, which he does do. Down the ground it goes, over the top of the pack it goes, and that was O'Grady that had it, got the hand pass away, and it's gone over to Strathalbyn now, and Strathalbyn will have a long shot in, and the ball will go across the line and out of bounds. And did anyone touch it? Yeah, it must have been, I think. Because they're all going away, and the boundary umpire's coming in, so... Anyway, so the boundary umpire will throw it in. In he does. In it goes, over the back of the pack it goes. And it's a good one out there by Mitchell Brook for Victor. He's got to get it down the ground. And here's a shot back in again. And Strathalbyn now will keep the ball in. No, they won't keep it in. It goes across the line and out of bounds. Don't like the look of that black cloud that's hovering around over there at the moment, Triff. Yeah. 
coming from the sort of wrong way, is it? Coming more north, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, the boundary umpire will toss it in again. He does. Over the top of the pack it goes. And clamp and hold of the Victor player. And I think the umpire's won out of this one. He says, I'll throw it up. Take the easy way out, which is what he does. Comes in now. Strathalbyn have got hold of it here. Do they run into an open goal? They do. And Lachlan Fox, number 12, Kevy. Let's talk about your new shed. You want it tough. You want it to look good. You want it to last for years. You want Shed X Flurio, the experts in design and construct. If you can dream the shed, they can build the shed. Dream it, design it, build it with Shed X Flurio. From initial design through to finished construction, your project is in trusted hands with Shed X Flurio. Quality workmanship and experience you can trust. ShedXFlurio.com.au so yeah, that, uh, that opening break certainly is hard to pick up once it gets going. Sides get them into it, so he turns around, comes back, scores around the ground, they're going quite good, so back in the centre it goes with umpire Rice. Goes up, up they down, nobody gets it in the ruck, comes out through there with Stock. Uh, Ross, sorry, Ross goes out, goes out straight away over there to McKinnon. McKinnon back over to Overall, Overall from Victus, going forward, out they go, Basham goes up, pushes strong, him man, under the ground that. and goes a big grab over there and he gets it, he's closer this time, Kevy. If he gets himself in the, in the right spot, they can't move him. Yeah, they read the flight of the ball too, that's what makes them so strong overhead. And... A bit closer than he was last time, he might give this one a real kick and it could end up down the river. No, that's a bit better kick than he had last Guess time. Guess what? And it's gone the Let's other put side. It's the other side. <laughs> it's another point. So it's 10 goals, 6 now to Victor Harbour. 3 goals, 3 to Strathalbyn on our FPA scoreboard. Yeah, there's three kicks, especially off the inside, one's off the inside and the outside. Normally the boot, you get them. So. Butler. With the ball comes straight up the centre, up they go over the top, hits the player on the chest in Simmons. Simmons turns around for Strath, comes up, drives up now, goes up the centre, up to the forward flank, over it in front, get the mark in there and he gets it in the clamp. Clamp for Strath, drives off, puts it in the pocket, up and under there into fight, and I reckon that's the uh, O'Grady. O'Grady, long sleeves, turns around. It's easy where you can pick up. Bits like that makes it a bit easier for us. So, Riley from the club room side, fairly acute angle, good 45 degree angle. He's got himself probably 40 metres to kick. That's how he goes. Steps in, drives the ball, bangs it all up. Umpire's running right across, comes off, off hands. So she finishes off for a minor score to Strathalbert on the FBA scoreboard. They go to three goals, four to Victor Harbour, ten goals, six. So we're well on our way to half 22 time, minutes yeah. gone, I've got a Kev. Yep. And the ball now is kicked down the wing, club room side. Strathalbert will pick it up. They've had a good quarter this quarter. Anyway, tried to kick it back in play. It's touched. Before it goes across the line and the boundary umpire will come along and throw it in. In he comes now. It's good, the boundary umpires are getting the ball in. And nice. And the only thing is the ruckman is standing too far back. Here's a chance now for Strath to pick O'Grady. it up again, O'Grady. And uh, Victor making sure he didn't. They got on the right side of him then. Yeah. So they Just a reminder today, it's a, they, in today's halftime hub, Kevin Curran talks to a veteran of the local football world, a man he's personally admired for years. That's today's halftime tub interview brought to you by FP Ag in there in, there in your field. The ball goes up from the throw in and comes back down again and turns around. So, I don't think, don't think that could be right, Trev. Yep, yeah, so goes up, goes over. So said the uh, half-time man that goes over the boundary line for another boundary throw-in. So it, uh, it's uh, certainly a good one at half-time. Kevy, I'm looking Is forward it? to that, but it's one you really got to see. So I advise anyone out there to get it on YouTube because it is worth it. It loses a lot of the appeal 
out onto the other one, but goes up, throwing comes in, Victor Harbour with it, goes back and forward, comes out through there, quickly out there to a Dowling, Dowling's handball goes up, Strath pick it up, goes around there, series of handballs, comes along quickly there to, Clo uh, to Kednick, Kedding goes out wide, picks all up, goes out there, that one there we've been calling is Rice Mutch. So turns around, gets up, so goes over. He's the one that we've been calling wrong, Kevy. We'll have to keep an eye on that one. So goes up and down. Victor can't get to it. Strath goes over. Butler goes out. That looked to be close to the back, but it wasn't. So goes off, comes out. Handball comes over the back, comes around, picks his player up now, goes on forward, and goes over here and goes up. Strath picks the ball up, goes out quickly there and right. Right picks this ball up goes forward, we've got a free kick to Victor Harbour in the back pocket. Comes off now, comes in close, goes out, comes over to Michael Ross. Ross gets off, handball goes on, Victor with the control of the ball now, goes forward and it's defensive mark out there to Cooper Matchen. Cooper Matchen finds his player there in Richard O'Grady. Grady goes forward, finds his player out there in Nisbet. Nisbet goes off and finds his player. They're kicking around, short kicks, but they're finding targets. Just slightly too far, goes over, picks it all up, comes out there, goes out there, goes around onto it, trapped That's beautifully there up. by... Uh, yeah, by uh, going out, Mark Elliott. Mark Elliott goes over the top, comes out quickly now to Jacob Wright. Jacob Wright stands up, kicks it across his body, goes up to it and finds the chest of his player right in the other pocket. As he turns around, I reckon it might be 20, is it, I reckon? It's got Could a be two, Joel. It? 22, 22. And two. that is Jake Stafford. Jake Stafford. So, watching too much TV with the adverts there. 2-2, two, two, 22. So, he lines up. Can he get this one? Getting close to time. Drives this ball, kicks it. Umpire looks happy with it. it. He comes back. There it is, there's the goal. Beachside Betty next to Habra Pharmacy is your local sleep specialist, featuring SA made bedding from Sealy, AH Beard, and Adriatic Slumber. Mary and her team at Beachside Bedding also offer a beautiful range of locally made Flurio furniture. Beachside Bedding offers free delivery and old mattress removal, and is open Monday to Saturday at 295 Port Elliot Road, Habra. Always competitive on price with real product knowledge. Beachside Bedding. It's a good break at the moment, Not, unless they kick two quick ones by half time, you can't see them doing that. I make 26 minutes gone, so yeah. anyway, the ball now will be thrown up in the centre, up it goes, in go the ruckman again, probably the ruck went then towards Thomas Walk from Strathalbyn, and coming through down there, the Victor player, Ooh. they throw him down like a rag doll then, that was, that was a young... Um, Neville, was it? The, no. It's a single point. Yeah. That one off a of Riley Clamps sweep. And that is a point. point. Yep. So it's four goals, five, is it? Yep. So they put it up. No. no. Four, four goal, five to Strathalbyn, ten goals, six to Victor Harbour. Get called to play on. And so Victor run off quickly. Out the wide goes around. Comes around quickly around there to McKinnon. McKinnon back in the overalls. He drops it. Comes off to Ross. Ross gets caught. Probably goes, no, he must have just got his boot to it. Kicked up quickly by Strath. Goes forward. Too far behind Simmons and it's intercepted by Victor. Victor comes out wide. Turns around. Picks it all up. Getting tagged around there. Gets his handball out. Goes out wide. Comes over there to Bartram, I reckon. Bartram for Victor, puts this ball up, goes over the back. We turn around as the, the siren, so the siren, siren has sounded here at the half time. On the FPA scoreboard, we have Victor Harbour 10 goals 6 to Strathalbyn 4 goals 5. So, a good quarter then by uh, Strathalbyn. They look right out of it. Yeah, well, they came back, time. didn't they? So, anyhow, we'll quickly go through goal kickers here. For Victor Harbour, four to Sam Overalls, Harry Vincent, Jackson Elms, Daniel Stock, uh, and one we didn't pick up was a single, 
uh, and Sam Basham with two. For Strathalban, we have Riley Clamp, Lachlan Fox, uh, Jake Stafford and Ben Simmons. So this is 90.1 Happy FM Great Southern Footy Match of the Round on air and YouTube. FPA. Do you want instant cash? Drop off your deposit bottles and cans and scrap metal today at South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots in Victor Harbour, Goolwa and Yankalilla. South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots offer undercover drop-off facilities and the Goolwa Depot is open seven days a week. To see opening times, the latest prices and the items that can be dropped off for recycling, visit southcoastrecycle.com.au. Victor Tire Power are your local one-stop shop for all tyres, wheels and batteries. Tire Power are Australia's biggest independent tyre retailer, which means you get the power of a big range of the big brands, expert advice and lower prices. Get the power of a local owner and operator. Get the power of great service that keeps you coming back. Get the power. Victor Tire Power, 161 Hindmarsh Road, Victor Harbour. Let's talk about your new shed. You want it tough. You want it to look good. You want it to last for years. You want Shedex Flurio, the experts in design and construct. If you can dream the shed, they can build the shed. Dream it, design it, build it with Shedex Flurio. From initial design through to finished construction, your project is in trusted hands with Shedex Flurio. Quality workmanship and experience you can trust. Shedexflurio.com.au FPA, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FPA Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sale options and they also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag, with five fully stocked branches across the Florio, there in your field. Happy FM's Half Time Hub, brought to you by FP Ag. We're in your field. Today's special guest on the Hub has recently retired from football. Kevin, what have you been doing with your time since retiring from the Great Southern Football League? Well, Kevin, I've been there. Uh, Doing the lawns, <laughs> cutting bits of trees down, painting rooms, you name it, I've been doing it. Cleaning gutters, <laughs> getting all the work done around the home that I couldn't do for the last 40 years. So oh, I see. It's been mounting up. He comes in now over the 50 metre line and that is just skims the top of the <laughs> goal, I reckon. And that is a, a goal there to Ben Davis and that puts... Uh, Counter Bay on to four straight goals. Well, it was four, four goals at one point, really. No, no, four goals to the Bays, one goal one to Mount Compass. Now, Kevin, you're getting older and older each day. What's your memory like these days? What's the question? Just answer the question. What question? You mean you've forgotten it already? Sorry, can you speak up? I can't hear you. So your hearing's not the best, is it? <laughs> Have you seen a hearing specialist about your hearing? No, I don't wear earrings. Earrings? What? OK, let's move on. Look, how do you see local football from your commentator's seat? I, yeah, you I think it's a better game. I think yeah, it's a, a cleaner game. I think it's a quicker game. I think the players have got more skills. Is it a better game now than it was, say, 20 years ago? Yeah, I think it's a better game. Seems to be a lot of occasions where we've got to go through the umpire throwing the ball up again. What do you reckon we can do about it? Ball's on the ground again. Well, I suppose get the umpires to throw the balls a bit higher and the ruckman to get in and knock it out. That's what we need to do. Instead of knocking it on the ground, knock it out and clear. Now, Kevin, you don't like dogs. Why don't you like dogs? Well, I don't like dogs, especially with Mount Compass jumpers on them. Well, what's wrong with the mascot? No, I don't like the mascot. Runs on the ground, trying to take your attention away. And okay. He's a damn nuisance. Have you got any funny stories to tell? Oh, funny stories. Well, I, mean, I don't know that I can tell a lot of them. 
they'd have to be checked out first, I would think. Oh, I see. Anyway, look, there, there was one uh, many, many years ago. Now I got to go to a game at a place called Price, which is up the top of the peninsula there, and not far from Port Wakefield. And I got there at about half past um, seven, I think it was in the morning. I went to the car driver. The car driver had to go right down the bottom to Yorktown. So he dropped me off very early and the hotel manager was out there putting the hose on the, on, the, on the veranda, cleaning up the mess from the night before. And he said, what are you doing here? And I said, well, I'm coming to umpire the football today. And he said, football? I said, yeah. He said, well, there's no football here today. He said, the local team's forfeited. I said, you've got to be joking. I said, coming all the way from Victor Harbour, I said, to a forfeit, no one's told me. And he said, oh, well, anyway, he said, stick around. He said, there'll be a few locals in shortly. So I stuck around for a while, sat there, read the advertiser, every bit of the advertiser, and then a few people started to walk in. Then there was a couple more came in, and a couple more, and a couple more, and then a couple of the blokes said to me that uh, came in, do you want a game of darts? What are you here for? I said, I'm part of football. I said, I'm part of football. They said, there's no football here today. And I said, oh, God. Anyway, they said, come and have a game of, game of darts with us. So I had a couple of games of darts, and then they said, well, you might as well have a couple of beers, seeing you're not going to do anything all day. And I said, oh, yeah, OK, I suppose I can have a couple of beers. So after a couple of beers, it turned into a couple more beers, and a couple more got to about half past 12. Then a couple more players came in. I said, has anyone told the opposition that we're not, <laughs> we're not playing today, that we've forfeited? And they asked around, I said, no. No, we, we don't think so. So the secretary come in, he said, no, I haven't told anyone yet that we're forfeited. I said, well, how'd the story get around? I said, well, I don't know, that's what I've been told. But anyway, I said, I've had a few beers, <laughs> lots of games of darts, nothing to eat. And they said, perhaps we can go down and, uh, and play. I said, oh, you're joking, aren't you? They said, no, no, we've got the umpire with us, we should be okay. <laughs> so down the oval we went, um, started the match. Threw the ball up, <laughs> as you would. I couldn't bounce it if I had it, I would have squirted out like... <laughs> I don't believe <laughs> it that. It would have gone everywhere, I think, about the seven or eight schooners that I had while I was hanging around. So, anyway, the game went on, quarter time came, and I was as sick as a dog <laughs> over the boundary line. Are you for real? <laughs> they said, oh, you'll be right, stick with us. So they gave me, a, I think it was a bit of port. They said, take it, have a bit of port and you'll be right. So I did that and it made me worse. <laughs> so, so the game went on, the, they were playing the top team, which was the last game of the minor round. And I don't know what it was, about 30 goals, or nothing at three quarter time. I don't know what the score ended up in the end. I think they rang the siren early so that we could go home. <laughs> but anyway, that, that's, I mean, one of the traps you get into, if you're going away, what are you going to do when you're there at half past seven and play out, the umpire picked me up from Yorktown about 8 o'clock that night, so I would have been at the hotel for 13 hours. <laughs> Which is just as well I didn't drink all that time, it's just as well that they rolled up and played. But, I mean, that's one of the things that sometimes are these funny stories that you get. There was another funny story, what another one. Not really. Where it was in the mid-north town, I forget where it was. I said no. Yeah, but I know it was in the mid-north town and uh, I'd been umpiring uh, at another place. So we get to this mid-north town where we had to pick up the other umpire on the way home, and he's outside sitting on the step. Freezing cold. <laughs> mid-north town in the middle of winter is not a good place to be. So anyway, we pulled up, we said, what's the problem? He said, well, I umpired the game. He said, they reckon I wasn't too good. He said, they wouldn't serve me. He told me to get outside. <laughs> he said, so I'll be sitting out here for an hour. Every time I went back in, they kicked me out. So anyway, I mean, at least it didn't worry us too much because I was with another another umpire and he got back in and he wanted to eat, he wanted to eat, he wanted to drink, he wanted everything. So, so we, we had to go to the next town so we could get a, get a drink. But, oh look, I mean, there's lots of things like that happen along the way and sometimes uh, they're funny things and sometimes you think about it and you think, oh, I, I could tell another one about an aeroplane but I don't think I will. I think we've had enough. <laughs> well, Kevin, thanks for talking to us today on The Hub. Happy FM's Half-Time Hub. 
brought to you by FP Ag. We're in your field. FP Ag, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FP Ag Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sale options and they also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag, with five fully stocked branches across the Florio. They're in your field. Don't be the next victim of a home invasion. Pull over. Let's rub this joint. Great Southern Security will install a home security system with monitored alarm to protect your home or business. They also provide CCTV, mobile patrols, cash transit, event security and a test and tag service. Looks like this place has got its own secretary. What do you mean secretary? That sign. You idiot. That's security. This place has got to belong. Visit greatsouthernsecurity.com.au With over 180 years of farming family know-how behind us, ProStock Livestock will help you with all your livestock needs. ProStock will get you the best price for your livestock when buying or selling and will even help you muster and transport them. Wherever you are across the Flurio Peninsula or anywhere in South Australia, we'll offer you the highest quality professional yet personal service. So give ProStock Livestock a call to discuss your needs today. Visit us online at ProStock.com.au Beachside Bedding next to Habra Pharmacy is your local sleep specialist featuring SA Made Bedding from Sealy, AH Beard and Adriatic Slumber. Mary and her team at Beachside Bedding also offer a beautiful range of locally made Flurio furniture. Beachside Bedding offers free delivery and old mattress removal and is open Monday to Saturday at 295 Port Elliot Road, Habra. Always competitive on price with real product knowledge. Beachside Bedding. FP Ag, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FP Ag Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sale options and they also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag, with five fully stocked branches across the Florio, they're in your field. Beachside Bedding next to Habra Pharmacy is your local sleep specialist featuring SA Made Bedding from Sealy, AH Beard and Adriatic Slumber. Mary and her team at Beachside Bedding also offer a beautiful range of locally made Flurio furniture. Beachside Bedding offers free delivery and old mattress removal and is open Monday to Saturday at 295 Port Elliot Road, Habra. Always competitive on price with real product knowledge. Beachside Bedding. Yeah, Victor Harbour, like I said before, uh, overall with four goals all of the first quarter and he's gone into the ruck for a bit of run on the ball, so it uh, could have been anything he kicked up there this morning, I was, this afternoon, I would have thought so. But uh, hot off your interview, Kevin, you'd, you'd, you'd be all tired out now, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> talking, talking to yourself like that, so... For those that are on the radio that couldn't uh, quite pick it up, but uh, like we saw before, the uh, halftime hub, if you could have got it on the uh, YouTube and watched it, it uh, certainly a good chuckle when you see a person interviewing themselves. So it goes on. The uh, scores around the ground at this stage, we only have Langhorn Creek, uh, six goals, five, uh, leading McLaren Districts, five goals, seven. So that's a four-point ball game there, and the Creeks have been in front uh, for the uh, duration of the game so far. So uh, it will be interesting to see whether that one pans out and they can hang on to themselves there, because that's at Langhorns Creek. McLaren's top last year, undefeated, and uh, have won all their games so far until today now with it. So it could be a hot topic, that one, Kev. Yeah, they could lose their first game yeah. this year, very early in the season. Yeah, uh, my Ponga Selleck school report at it, quarter time was 4-1 to 2-2, two, two, so that was tightish, that's up at my Ponga. So, uh, uh, Wollonga and Counter Bay, that's going, progressing the way I thought it would, 5-6 uh, to 1 point at quarter time, so... Here we that, are, Trev. That was gone, so we've got some through, so go read them out, Kevin. Yeah, well, you've already read a couple of them out, 10-6... To 4-5, Victor Harbour ahead of Strathalbyn. 
six five to five seven, Langon Creek over McLaren Districts. Um, I think you had the encounter base score there to quarter time. Uh, my Ponga Selix, eight goals seven, Gulwa Port Elliot four five, and Yanka Lilla, four points, Mount Compass eleven goals two. So um, some one sided games there. Yeah, yeah, probably what I thought out of there is the other Wollonga and Counter Boat. I reckon you'll find that'll be one sided too, so it uh, gets on to here. But uh, there's, you've got the light on there, Tony, just in case that they're out for it. So the umpires are calling off. They're certainly taking their time, the players here. They've had a break and they're still uh, giving themselves a run. So we're uh, certainly slowed down here. They've got, certainly had a big half time break. I was just thinking, Trev, after the success and the uh, crowd response to Kevin Curran, interviewing Kevin Curran, there could be a Trevor Pryor episode. In uh, the no, no funnies on this channel, I can tell you. <laughs> oh, I've heard you after <laughs> <hours>. <laughs> No, no, don't, don't have stories like Kevin has in all his years around. No, you've got um, to them up. <laughs> umpiring, oh yeah, I don't know. You can tell a few of them when his trips are going around to uh, with the local boys from Back Valley and... Uh, Heading out, some quite funny ones there too. So yeah, he probably knows Julie's listening this afternoon. Yeah, yeah. No, probably we, is. You've got nothing else to do. We've, 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 we'll <laughs> we've got to get him. Got to get him to write a book. Mm -hmm. That's what we need. You know, yeah. So yeah. So anyhow, we're just about ready here. Umpire Rice has got the ball, so we are going to get underway here on the Victor Oval for the second half. Up she goes. Turns around, gets up, Trelaw gets it all out. Comes back to ground. Barillo goes in underneath, gets one for high, probably lucky, steps upside and drives this ball up forward. Up she goes forward, up and down it goes. Ross can't get to it. Here he goes, he's going to give this one away. Turn around, the spoil come from the back. He didn't like it, he takes it all over and now she's an all-in arm wrestling here to go on. So... Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't worth getting angry about that one. So uh, the spoil was on. You expect those things when it comes into the back. I saw him last week do something very similar. So so Michael Ross at the moment kicking for goals for Victor Harbour. He's going to be kicking from... Oh, he'll probably kick it from the 50. It's been the score and end, though, for the game. Don't know why. The wind's going across, drives it up. Puts this ball up. Umpire's going a long, long way. So he misses. So on the FBA scoreboard, Victor Harbour go to 10 goals, 7 to 4 goals, 5, Strathalban. Half-time score, Wollonga, 7 goals, 9. Encounter Bay, 2 goals, 5. Mm, about what we thought. Anyway, the Strath will bring the ball back in from that last score. They do. They go over, over the club room's side with it. And the two players there from... Victor Harbour go for the one ball and it ends up in the hands of Jackson Elms. And Jackson Elms now will... Ross got to play off on with it. And indicates a goal. Don't be the next victim of a home invasion. Pull over. Let's rub this joint. Great Southern Security will install a home security system with monitored alarm to protect your home or business. They also provide CCTV, mobile patrols, cash transit, event security and a test and tag service. Looks like this place has got its own secretary. What do you mean secretary? That sign. You idiot, that's security. This place has got an alarm. Visit greatsouthernsecurity.com.au the ball up high again, up it goes. Neither Ruckman got hold of that one, but Victor gets it out the centre. Kick it down to the forward line down there. The player going through the ball out there was uh, Matthew Wees, and in it goes into the forward line. And coming out there, too strong, Victor Harbour. And they take an easy mark. Well, I suppose none of them are easy when you're backing back into the players coming towards you. And Ross has got a chance to put through Another goal. We just kicked one in about a minute and a half ago. Yeah, right on, right on the uh, line too. So, 45 degree angle. This one should not should not miss this one. In he comes now. He's a left footer, and I curse, reckon that curse he has missed it. 
missed it by a reasonable amount, and that's 11 goals, 8 to Victor, 4 goals, 5 to Strathalbyn. It looks like they're all in, Kevy, so... Is it? Yeah. We've got them down, which is good, so going on. But, uh, yeah, they're chasing the balls the player's up. player's got to go and give to himself. Right? Yeah. Because he's got the way back to the township. Yeah, so half-time scores around the ground. McLaren Districts 5-7, trailing Langons Creek 6-5. Goolwa Port at 4-5, Maiponga Selex 8-7. Wollonga 7-9, Counter Bay 2-5, Mount Compass 11-2, Yankalilla 4 points. Well, from the kick in now... Hasn't been marked by Victor this time, but it'll be kicked back by them. And it goes in uh, towards the point post, but it's crossed the boundary line first, obviously without anyone touching it. And the ball will be brought back in by Strathalbyn in the back pocket area. He comes in there, kicks it back in, and there's a, almost a good mark being taken by Strath. The ball was got by Strath, but uh, she comes in again and uh, it's gone over here to Strath Alvin. And the little fella out there has taken the mark, and that is Ashton Hoffman. Hoffman's got hold of it. Down it comes now, and the ball's on the ground. Strath out number, Victor, two to one, but there's about three other players coming, four other players coming in for Victor. A little bit late here. And the free kick nah, will go to no one. Up. The umpire will throw the ball up. Up it goes. Push down. Here's a chance now for Victor again to get it right back into their forward line. And it's taken out here by Ross. I don't know what Ross did then. I think his own teammate got in the way, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the ball's not lost because they'll kick it back in again. And no, they won't get a point out of that. The ball's been marked down there by Cooper Mashin. He'll kick it down towards the scoreboard. And again, Strath Victor get in the way Bartram. and it's gone there to Bartram. And Bartram will put it back in again. Here's a chance for another goal to Victor. And it's they're missing now, missing probably relatively easy looking shots. And it's gone to 11 goals and nine to Victor Harbour, a four goal five Strath Alvin and our FBA scoreboard. Yeah, so it is. It's uh, not probably what they wanted. They could wrap this one up and really kill oh, them. Oh, they could have killed them there. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I don't think it's going to hurt them much. But uh, whilst they're doing that, they're still attacking, so they've got control of the ball. So Butler for Strath Albert brings this ball back in, club room side, drives this ball up, comes up, out the back, goes clamp, can't, goes up, comes back down, trying to get through there was O'Grady. Victor Harbour gets it, goes over, comes out in the hands there of Matthew Wees. Wees goes forward, up and down goes Basham, and he turns around and takes that one down above his head. Under a bit of pressure too. Yep. It's in a pack, you're always going to get those ones. Spoils have to go on. Someone's got to be in the front of the pack, don't they? Yeah, that's what I mean. Spoils coming up, pack going on, he crashed into it, so, you know, like I said, it's the one before when... Uh, Michael Ross did it too. Like you, know, you, you you're going to have to expect it when there's you know packed conditions. So Basham comes in, lines himself up, let himself down the He's last couple. He's happy with that one. Goal umpire gets the okay. Goal. Let's talk about your new shed. You want it tough. You want it to look good. You want it to last for years. You want Shedex Flurio, the experts in design and construct. If you can dream the shed, they can build the shed. Dream it, design it, build it with Shedex Flurio. From initial design through to finished construction, your project is in trusted hands with Shedex Flurio. Quality workmanship and experience you can trust. Shedexflurio.com.au Well, it could be. It could be. It could easily be. Uh, that's a, umpire's got the ball back. Put it in his hands there and we'll throw it up in the centre. Up it goes. Big fellow for Victor goes up to get the knock down there, but uh, that was Heath Trelaw, but couldn't get close enough with it to do anything. Tries again. Comes out. Couple of, oh, there goes. Um, I reckon that might have been um, 
apart from our, uh, sorry, no, it would have been, it would have been Elms. Anyway, wherever it is, Victor got hold of it, gets a hand pass back, and that's taken down there by uh, Strathalbyn now, and they're going across, and this could be, end up with a free kick, which it has to Victor, is it? Yeah, no, it goes to Strath. Where's the Strath? I thought that's Ross is just going. saying, I just lent on him. I didn't hit him Mark high. Tucker. I didn't hit him high. I just lent on him. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Tucker's got it. And the, oh, his, it's a terrible kick. And away you go Victor with it now. They've got it down there. Well, they made a mess of that. They tried to go too far with the ball without doing anything with it. And it's, it's on the ground anywhere. this time. And the player there will... Give the ball back to the umpire, and the umpire will come in and do it again. Went up a ruck hanging onto the other player's hand then. And he'll get the ball back. We're a bit of a stalemate here now, Trevor. The score and slowed down, and everything's almost come to a slow motion. But nearly a good mark taken down there by Victor, who a player's landed awkwardly on his back. Taken. Ball goes down the ground, though, with another player there from Strat. Bit of a push in the back, and the umpire will come along and throw it up. Here, yeah, the game's degenerated a bit, isn't it? The umpire throws it up again, up it goes, taken down there by Jacob Wright, but he didn't do anything with it. And the free kick now has gone back to Victor. So Victor Harbour's got it, and umpires made the free kick and said to play on. Under the ball here is the big fella there in uh, number two, Thomas Welk from Strathalbyn. He kicks the ball in and kicks it way over the player's head who he was aiming for. And it's gone out here now to overall. Uh, overall and overall will give it back to the umpire, Trev. And, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a slow motion. Nothing game, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I think Victor's players realise that. Too. They're just, just going through it, so up they go. Welk tries to get it out to him, can't get down. Stra uh, Victor now gets away with it, comes back in, goes out there, picked up beautifully by there, goes for holding the ball. And it'll be a free kick to Victor Harbour. Goes around to Reese Kleinick. Kleinick goes out wide, finds his player out there, and Tom Neville. Neville goes over and finds his player in the forward pocket. He's settling things down. 20-something. Well, yeah, 22. 22-2, Daniel Stock. So he's kicked one. It was the first quarter. He's had two shots at goals. And he stands at one apiece. So what can he do here? Goes out. It's on the well, far he's side. Well, getting a goal this time, I think. Yeah, far side is out. So comes through. Drives up. Kicks it all up. Umpire's yeah. not moving much. Looks pretty good. Comes back to the centre. Indicates goal. Victor Tire Power are your local one-stop shop for all tyres, wheels and batteries. Tire Power are Australia's biggest independent tyre retailer, which means you get the power of a big range of the big brands, expert advice and lower prices. Get the power of a local owner and operator. Get the power of great service that keeps you coming back. Get the power. Victor Tire Power, 161 Hindmarsh Road, Victor Harbour. Well, maybe not as fit as we thought they might be. But uh, anyway, they had their big win over Leon Creek. Yeah, they must must have struck my Ponga Selix just right. But mm. uh, Umpire throws the ball up high in the centre once again. Overall decides he'll have a go in ruck. Gets the knock, knocks it out. And there's a... Butler. Free kick going out here to Butler. Butler kicks it across the ground and kicks it out there to his teammate in Jackson Mashin. And he's kicked it across. Strathalbyn now, a little bit more anxious. And the player kicks it down. Yeah, it's push under. Free kick. Probably Riley. Riley Clamp. I reckon. You think you'd be sick of playing football the last three or four days? Five days? Or yeah. Anyway, he comes in, kicks it to he the man be. on the mark. <laughs> 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 kicked it straight to the man on the mark. Me, can he mark it? <laughs> no, it bounced off. But Victor recovered well. Marillo now yeah. gets the ball, goes to centre. Coming up through the middle there is Zach Dowling. Dowling goes out wide. There's the run from a 
Victor going out to Miller. Miller goes out and he finds his player out there in Jackson Elms. As I said, Victor uh, certainly got some good players in. They run around. Like I said, Overall's come back from you know, the South Adelaide. Gets himself in the forward lines, goes on the ball, gets in the ruck. So he's uh, quite a handy player for it. Can play anywhere around. And kick four goals in the first quarter. So he's certainly uh, handy onto it. And nothing since. Yeah, Jackson Elms for Victor though. Lines himself up. Comes inside. He's going to kick from probably 30, 40 metres out there. Goes over. Hits it into the oh. post. So he goes for a minor score. So Victor Harbour goes to 13 goals, 10 to 4 goals, 5 on the FBA scoreboard. And from the kicking down there, Strath Alvin have got control of it. At the moment, past the scoreboard, they go with it. But it's as far as they go because Reese Much has taken the mark out there. And coming along, they kicks it into the pack. And the boundary umpire has made that out of bounds. And he will have to throw it in. In he comes. Not a bad throw in either. Maybe he goes a little short, but uh, sometimes the players stay too far back. Ball now. Bit of a tussle there between the two smaller players. And Perillo and his opposition there. The ball goes up out of the pack. It goes now down the right down towards the forward line. Ross and. Ross has taken another mark. Strong hands, aren't they, over yeah. their head? Yep, and that gives him a chance for another goal. He's only got one, but he's had a couple of shots. He comes in there to have a, another shot. Probably will get a ball this one, Trev. You yeah, he's left foot up. Goal up by Stoppovers. Watches it go at the top of his head. Man, Do you want instant cash? Drop off your deposit bottles and cans and scrap metal today at South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots in Victor Harbour, Goolwa and Yankalilla. South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots offer undercover drop-off facilities and the Goolwa Depot is open seven days a week. To see opening times, the latest prices and the items that can be dropped off for recycling, visit southcoastrecycle.com.au. Goa Port at 4 5, Wollonga 7 9, Encounter Bay 2 5, Mount Compass 11 2, Yankalilla 0 4. And of course, this match here is well, under the, uh, well in the uh, control of Victor here at the moment. So the ball comes back to umpire Alex. Steps himself in now. 16 minute mark. Goes over. Up the ruckman go. Can't really oh, get to it. it. Comes straight out in the arms there of McKinnon. McKinnon goes forward for Victor. Off hands. Intercepted and red. Overall wraps him up. And it goes down there for a ball up in the forward pocket. Clubber him side for Victor Harbour. Umpire Rice there. Gets the ball up. Body on body, goes out, clamps in the ruck now for Strath. He comes out, lays a tackle, gets to it. Hamble gets away, gets over there. They turn around, the umpire comes that. back and says a goal. And I can't tell you who kicked that one no. because it was that quick and off the ball. I thought it looked like he dumbled it. So we have another one that we can't give to a player. With over 180 years of farming family know-how behind us, Pro Stock Livestock will help you with all your livestock needs. Pro Stock will get you the best price for your livestock when buying or selling and will even help you muster and transport them. Wherever you are across the Flurio Peninsula or anywhere in South Australia, we'll offer you the highest quality professional yet personal service. So give Pro Stock Livestock a call to discuss your needs today. Visit us online at prostock.com.au. Throw the ball up again. Up it goes. In goes the ruckman. Push it down. Coming through there is a chance for Victor this time. Will he get the hand pass out? He does. He gets it out to his teammate and he gets pulverised into the ground. Gets up again. Here's another chance for Victor to get the ball further down the ground, but they can't. Ball 
gets away from Vintner. Here's a chance now for Strathal and the player down there runs into the open goal and is well offline. A minor score only, so they go to three goals six now on the three goal six or three goal seven. It's hard to see. Do four goal six, Strath. Four goal six. Yep. Four so goal six. Victor have brought this ball back in the club room side in the back pocket. Up they go. Turn her up, up, down. Uh, Strath come in there and takes the mark and Adam Clark. Adam Clark drives this ball forward, goes right up the full forward position, goes up over and back, couldn't quite get the second grab on it there with Strath. That was Simmons, it gets it around and goes up there and the umpire comes for a ball up in the forward pocket for Strath Alvin. Simmons goes up, puts it all down, gets this player wrapped up, caught one high, he turned around, the umpire didn't see that one, the second one in onto there, so Stafford gives it back to him. Up it goes, Simmons puts the ball down, comes around, comes out to Strath, Strath got a kick smothered, socket off the ground by Victor, Victor pushes it back in there, comes back out here too, goes across out there, go, that one there was Jackie McKinnon, McKinnon, yeah. McKinnon goes out to Dowling, Dowling puts the ball over, comes around here, goes over to Elms, Elms can't do anything, Strath are trying to get on there, stacks on the mills on here, the umpire's going to have to come in and do a ball up on the forward flank, here for Strathalbyn's attacking zone. Alex umpire throws the ball up, goes back down. Nobody gets it. Elliot gets a foot to it for Strath. Comes back down. Victor trying to break out, get it out the back. Goes around quickly out there to uh, Kleenick, Reese Kleinick. Goes down, picked up there, got trapped as he scooped it up, grabbed into there, no prior opportunity. And up the guess there, Michael Ross drops the ball down for the umpire to pick it up himself. That doesn't it's always gentle, win you any It's gentle, it doesn't it, win it? you any proof. <laughs> <laughs> so it's on, does it. <laughs> on the other forward flank, Ruck goes up. Can't get around on it. Trelaw couldn't get it. Comes back out now. Handballs by Victor. Comes around here to McKinnon. McKinnon goes forward. Up for the victors, into their forward lines now. Basham couldn't get down to it. Turns around, goes over. Picked up there quickly there by uh, Cooper Matchin for Strath. Basham comes back. He just dribbles it around, drops it down, throws it out quickly. Goes over there to uh, Zach Dowling. Dowling goes through. Dowling gets his first. And Victor Hunt. FP Ag, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FP Ag Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sale options and they also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag, with five fully stocked branches across the Florio. They're in your field. But, yeah, they're not making any inroads, and Victor are just doing what they like. This will be a good little percentage buster for them now. Ball back in the centre of the ground. The central umpire. As the player stands around and waits for him to toss it up, which he, did, he does. Then he goes to the big tall fella there, and Trelaw tries to go and get the knock for Victor. Ross gets it out the centre and the ball is marked down there by Hodgson. Hodgson for Strathalbyn. And it kicks it out to a one on one. And I think he's played the free kick there to Marchin. Cooper Marchin. To Strathalbyn. So Strath have got it in the back pocket. And in there, takes his kick. Strathalbyn just tried to slow it up so that the scores don't go. Too high. Ross could have almost been called a player. Yeah, off, he, I think he made it look like he didn't know which end he was yeah. going, but he certainly took two steps, didn't he? He took two steps, which should have been a quick call on, and uh, made him do something quickly with it. And here's a long shot in here by Overall. overall. And he's got and over he's the pack. He's got another one. So Overall now has got goal.
Beachside Bedding next to Habra Pharmacy is your local sleep specialist, featuring SA-made bedding from Sealy, AH Beard and Adriatic Slumber. Mary and her team at Beachside Bedding also offer a beautiful range of locally made Flurio furniture. Beachside Bedding offers free delivery and old mattress removal and is open Monday to Saturday at 295 Port Elliot Road, Habra. Always competitive on price with real product knowledge. Beachside Bedding. They're kicking as many of this as they did in the first quarter, so I might have a blood brawl, is he, or something? He was waiting his time to get off, so yeah. Anyway, have Alex. our fellas to Tasmania, Mike Hendricks, our very own, is down there at Queenstown, is enjoying he? the telecast uh, with his wife Wendy. So, afternoon to Mike and Wendy. Yeah, they're back here. It's all one sided, though. It's all Victor Harbour, the home side. Yeah. Turn around, Trelaw can't get it up goes back down, Victor now recover quickly, drives off the boot, goes forward, up they go and out there, goes over, goes over the head there of, uh, of um, Elms, who turns around, goes out, Strath come out with it, picked it out quickly, gets out to McFarlane, McFarlane drives the ball out, goes he spotted oh, out loose wide, players everywhere. turns around, goes off, off they go, up onto there, <laughs> over the back it goes, tins out there, Simmons comes up with there, Strath come back out onto it, uh, sorry, Victor come back in it and Brook Brook turns around, hands all uh, comes across goal, bit risky, comes up there, gets over onto there, and he finds out there, and uh, O'Grady can't get away. It goes over the boundary line for a, a boundary throw in, forward pocket for Strathalbyn. He's got his hands on his hips a lot there, O'Grady, so yeah. I think he's uh, overly fit Huffing too much. A little bit, doesn't he? But yeah, anyway. so it goes off, goes straight around there to Victor. Victor get it, did he get a touch, it went over the back here because it's all clean, goes over there. Don't be the next victim of a home invasion. Pull over, let's rub this joint. Great Southern Security will install a home security system with monitored alarm to protect your home or business. They also provide CCTV, mobile patrols, cash transit, event security and a test and tag service. Looks like this place has got its own secretary. What do you mean secretary? That sign. You idiot, that's security. This place has got to alarm. Visit greatsouthernsecurity.com.au. Oh, backwards on. now. Yeah, she was uh, eight goal lead at, in the first quarter and they've almost, they've almost got that eight goal lead again now in the, in the third. Your umpire's got the ball. He'll throw it up again in the centre. Up it goes. Knock down. There by the, the, the tall fella in Trelaw, and out it comes Ross out the centre. He'll kick it across the ground out there. It's gone out to a, to a player out there from Victor. He'll, he's knocked it along with his hand. They've kept it inside the boundary line. Here's a hand pass. Kicked it out, and this could easily be another one here. Could have been the overall, could be anyone down there. The Basham. Basham, you reckon? Sock it off the ground, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there was plenty of of feet going to the ball. Let's talk about your new shed. You want it tough. You want it to look good. You want it to last for years. You want ShedX Flurio, the experts in design and construct. If you can dream the shed, they can build the shed. Dream it, design it, build it with ShedX Flurio. From initial design through to finished construction, your project is in trusted hands with ShedX Flurio. Quality workmanship and experience you can trust. ShedX Flurio. Dot com dot au. It's uh, not going good. Everything going Victor Harbour way. They deserve it though. They're certainly playing good football. They did they last week too. Good football. They played good football last yeah, week. Yeah, they've got a good group there. You know, they're uh, good, solid, tough players and running players to go. So it's uh, they're going to be right up there. A few of them have played league football. So yeah. it's, uh, up the middle it goes. Goes up and down. Can't get out to it. Comes out by Victor by foot. Goes back out there, Dowling tries to get out to it, can't get to it. Turns round, goes into the back there, there, Butler now for Strathalbyn. Handball's back inside, finds his player in Hoffman. Hoffman comes out, over oh, the head there, bounce. bad bounce, goes to Vincent. <laughs> Vincent's for Victor, can't get it pushed out. They go to Stacks on the middle around here, pushes down there, pushing around, can't around, picked up, comes out to Trelaw. Trelaw for Victor, kick smothered beautifully by Strath. Goes over there, gets held onto too long, got away with it. Comes back to Ross. Ross for Victor. Lines himself up, left foot coming around. That's There's it. another one. Up by comes back. Looks at it, says, 
There Go there. Victor Tire Power are your local one-stop shop for all tyres, wheels and batteries. Tire Power are Australia's biggest independent tyre retailer, which means you get the power of a big range of the big brands, expert advice and lower prices. Get the power of a local owner and operator. Get the power of great service that keeps you coming back. Get the power. Victor Tire Power, 161 Hindmarsh Road, Victor Harbour. And we don't have him on there, so it could no, have been well, a jumper change. So could be. I don't think it'll be that big a deal for us, though, Kevy. No, no. There's plenty of others out there. We can get a kick. There's nothing we <laughs> do though. No. Up it goes again from the centre. Strafford got the ball. Try to get a hand pass out, and it looks like it's worked this time. Clamp, clamp can go down the ground with it. Puts it up higher, they go for it. Oh, oh Simmons. Simmons. Oh, he's Simmons. played it. Lucky, that lucky. A casually, didn't he? And Simmons has got it. Now, on a good day, Simmons can kick this too. He can kick it a long, yeah. long way. And he decides Pass. not to. He decides to kick it to someone who's Clamp. a bit closer. And that's Clamp. And Clamp's had a couple of shots from about there. 2-2 two, two he's kicked, Kev. Yeah, as I said, I reckon he's kicked... Had a couple of shots from goal from around there somewhere. Yeah, uh, one one was and one of his goals was the last one to suck it off the ground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when we was missing, tried to put him through the sticks. And he, what's he going to take all day to kick it? Yep. Uh, waiting for the siren to go. Comes in now to have his shot. Puts the ball on the boot. It's and gone wide. And it's, off a line and another behind a Victor. So it's six goals, seven to Victor Harbour, uh, to Strathalbyn, 19-10 to Victor Harbour. Victor, bring the ball back quickly. Up they go. Over the back it goes. It turns around. I reckon a boundary umpire called it on the kick. I don't think too sure. Uh, it's near enough to touch it over the line, I think. Mm, oh. Yeah, does reckon it was. He reckons it went over the clear. Well, he, pack. Blew, he blew the whistle. But yeah, was... but he thinks he called it out in the full, I think. Yeah. For where it was. He doesn't believe that it, it was touched. And the umpire said the right thing. He said, yeah, I didn't think it was, so they called it as a. Anyway, you know, Victor got the mark there. They can put the ball across the ground, which they're pretty good at oh. doing. Oh! Yeah, yeah. He got a bit of latitude from the umpire. Certainly did, because I almost <laughs> reckon he ran the distance. He ran, the, ran more than he should have, anyway. And this could end up another goal now for Strath Alvin if the ball goes down to the forward line and a Victor player can grab it and kick it into the open forward line down there now. But a bit of a tussle on there between a couple of players. In fact, there's two Strath Alvin players almost look like they'll fight each other for it. And the umpire gets the ball, puts it up, from the throw up. There's that 10 now. Here's number 10 now, wherever it happens to be. And of course, he's got a goal. <laughs> we don't know who it is, but. Do you want instant cash? Drop off your deposit bottles and cans and scrap metal today at South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots in Victor Harbour, Goolwa, and Yankalilla. South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots offer undercover drop off facilities, and the Goolwa Depot is open seven days a week. To see opening times, the latest prices and the items that can be dropped off for recycling, visit southcoastrecycle.com.au Michael Ross. Yeah, no, it's got a beard and I reckon... I reckon Sam Basham, we know who it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but, well, as I said, we'll just put it down as call him number 10 and see how he goes. But we must be close to time now, Kevin. So, to be. Even with it going on here. Back in the centre it goes, up and down it goes. Trelaw gets it, comes back out. Victor, get it all up, can't get the kick to it. Comes out, comes out quickly there to uh, Stafford. Stafford goes out, over the top. Strath can't do rights here. They turn around, goes over, gets up here to Vincent. Vincent for there, goes straight over, goes over to Neville. Neville goes for it and he finds overall coming out on the lead. So, overall now. Going for goal number six. And he'll kick this from right on the 50 metre arc. Lines himself up. Runs out to the goal, swings it around. 
Looks good, looks good. Looks too far over. The umpire said the same. She's gone over for a minor score. So, FBA scoreboard, 20 goals, 11 to Victor. 5 goals, 7 to Strathalbyn. And the siren has sounded, folks. So, it's uh, as three-quarter time here, as we've stated. Victor Harbour, 20 goals, 11. This is a slaughter going on here to Strathalbyn. Five goals, seven. It's on the FPEG scoreboard. So we'll try to get scores around the ground, and then we'll keep things for our wrap-up for the last quarter. This is 90.1 Happy FM, Great Southern Footy, Match of the Round on air and YouTube. With over 180 years of farming family know-how behind us, ProStock Livestock will help you with all your livestock needs. ProStock will get you the best price for your livestock when buying or selling, and will even help you muster and transport them. Wherever you are across the Flurio Peninsula or anywhere in South Australia, we'll offer you the highest quality, professional yet personal service. So give ProStock Livestock a call to discuss your needs today. Visit us online at ProStock.com.au. Beachside Bedding next to Habra Pharmacy is your local sleep specialist featuring SA Made Bedding from Sealy, AH Beard and Adriatic Slumber. Mary and her team at Beachside Bedding also offer a beautiful range of locally made Flurio furniture. Beachside Bedding offers free delivery and old mattress removal and is open Monday to Saturday at 295 Port Elliot Road, Habra. Always competitive on price with real product knowledge. Beachside Bedding. Victor Tire Power are your local one-stop shop for all tyres, wheels and batteries. Tire Power are Australia's biggest independent tyre retailer, which means you get the power of a big range of the big brands, expert advice and lower prices. Get the power of a local owner and operator. Get the power of great service that keeps you coming back. Get the power. Victor Tire Power, 161 Hindmarsh Road, Victor Harbour. Don't be the next victim of a home invasion. Pull over. Let's rub this joint. Great Southern Security will install a home security system with monitored alarm to protect your home or business. They also provide CCTV, mobile patrols, cash transit, event security and a test and tag service. Looks like this place has got its own secretary. What do you mean secretary? That sign. You idiot. That's security. This place has got to belong. Visit greatsouthernsecurity.com.au FP Ag, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FP Ag Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sale options and they also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag, with five fully stocked branches across the Flurio, there in your field. For us and the players, yeah, you're right there. Just as well we're not at a place with the sun shining through the the, the window on top of us. No, that's right. Yeah. Anyhow, we have three quarter scores while we're around the ground here, folks. Langhorn Creek eight ten, McLaren Districts eight eleven. McLarens have hit the front there, and only by a point. Uh, my Ponga Selix 9 7, Gulwa Port Elliot 4 6, so that one's tightish. Wollonga 9 14, Encounter Bay 2 7, so they're struggling like heck. Mount Compass 14 4 to Yankalilla 1 6, and of course, here it's a bloodbath 20 11 to 5 7. So there's a couple of games there I thought would have been. Uh, a Possibly closer. a bit closer, but mm. um, yeah, and there's a couple there that doesn't surprise me at all. So, Gore Port Elliot's making a reasonable stance against my Pongas, so it's interesting to see there. They uh, got beaten by Strath in the first game, so perhaps they've uh, turned around and uh, just uh, got well, the extra percentage it's not that as good. Uh, Strath Alvin gained on Anzac Day has certainly been washed right away with, with this big defeat, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because Compass have improved the last couple of games, so they've they've picked up wins now. But uh, get them being lower grades, but uh, yeah, Yanko and kicking one six, 
Good report out at four six, but yeah, Encounter Bay's the one. Two seven against Wollonga, and Wollonga uh, had lost their last two, haven't they? So, it uh, yeah, not yeah. looking good for Encounter Bay. And um, yeah, this one here was well, certainly not the blowout. It's a big blowout here, but I didn't think it would eventuate. So, uh, but um, yeah. And of course, controversy here. We've just had to pl uh, come up here. We've picked out number ten, who's not on our sheet, and uh, we were He's handed. Not on the sheet. We either. were handed the team sheet here from the uh, from the actual um, manager. team manager uh, before the game, and uh, he's not on the list. So they reckon number ten's Hewitt, and we didn't have him on the original list. So that uh, could be very interesting, folks. See what goes on there. 20, there's 21 players on the list there, and none of them are you. Yeah, <laughs> so that's what I mean. And uh, we can only go by what the team uh, manager gives us, so we would have thought that was right, everything was all okay except for this player now. So, interesting but little uh, the scenario. Of course, there's a little bit of problem. Yeah, so. Uh, as we wait to get here, players are gradually drifting themselves back into position again here. And we're going to get underway here, which if these quarters keep going, we're not going to be finished until 5 o'clock anyway, Kevy. So No, we can... Because they've been long, long quarters, eight goals. The other quarter was... Um, Victor, then they kicked two, and now they've kicked ten. 30, 32 minutes, the third quarter. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, the second quarter for Victor was uh, quite low there, but Strath had kicked four, so six goals total for the term there. But, uh, but yeah, ten goals they kicked there to uh, one. So well, then they're waving to the full back, just blow the, blow the siren if he doesn't want to tell you he's ready. Bad yeah. Luck. So it goes on up to there, and I'll let you take the first bounce, Kevy, as they get underway here for the and final quarter. And Dennis Rice. Throws the ball up high, up it goes. Victor get the knockdown. It's knocked down to the to player then. If it's a big turnover here, Elliot could be in the thing. No, Elliot now has, has, has gone out here. They've just got to be holding the ball. It is holding the ball out here. And Victor, oh, oh, give 25. Me, yeah, give me 25 metres. But Rillo's had the ball in his hand, and when he got, got the free kick against him, he just dropped the ball on the ground. I mean, when someone does that, it's a pity it's not 50. And the ball has been marked in the back pocket down there by Victor Harbour. Kick it in short. Dowling, that would have been. goes to Dowling. Dowling's got it. Here's there. Hewitt now. Number 10. <laughs> Phantom. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's got hold of it, and it's got across this time to Barillo. So Barillo's got it. He's option or opposition to the uh, free kick then uh, and he didn't really cost them much he said if it's a 50 for something like that I mean that's just deliberate doing something you know you shouldn't so ball's gone across and marked at the centre half back out here by Victor in the centre of the ground some of the strath players didn't even look like looking there Clamp. anyway Clamp's got it he kicks it down at the back of the pack down there it's taken by Duffield. Duffield Duffield had it briefly and looks like it's into another stack of players now. There's two of them out, two or three of them out there. And the umpire gets there and will throw the ball up high. Up it goes, ball comes down, taken down by Strath. Took a bit of time then to line himself up on that but didn't kick it hard enough because it was marked right in the goal square by Victor. Gone down there to reach Bartram. Bartram gets it across to Fletcher. Ryan Fletcher. And Fletcher now has got it in the back pocket. Fletcher puts That's it in the and ball. then kicked it straight across the boundary line. In fact, it might have almost hit the club rooms on the full there. So he was a mile off line. And Strath will get the free kick. Will it hurt him? Well, it should have be been a free kick, kick there. Yep. Just jumped straight in the middle of his back. So Duffield. Duffield now can prove whether he's as good as his um, father. Well, he hasn't kicked a goal yet. So. No, well, Duff never kicked and he's, him. Anyway. And he's got, got the famous number too. Yeah, he's got the 78. Anyway, that's younger Duffield there. And that one is Fletcher Duffield. 
this might have been the way Dad was. He, he, he might have been like this. A long time ago. <laughs> yeah, well, he's, he's done a better job than his old man would have then. I reckon he's put the goal, ball through the goal. He has. Good on you, Fletcher. With over 180 years of farming family know-how behind us, ProStock Livestock will help you with all your livestock needs. ProStock will get you the best price for your livestock when buying or selling, and will even help you muster and transport them. Wherever you are across the Flurio Peninsula or anywhere in South Australia, we'll offer you the highest quality, professional yet personal service. So give ProStock Livestock a call to discuss your needs today. Visit us online at ProStock.com.au. 2011, uh, by Victor Harbour on our FBA scoreboard. If any of the kids are out there listening to this, they can come around the van, I'll give them a free pen. <laughs> up they go in the centre, Ruck goes up, comes out by Victor, can't get around with it, and he turns around, gets wrapped up against Jesse McKinnon, and goes up for a, another ball up. Up they go, nobody really gets it. Flapped around there by Wilk, it's for Strath, comes back to Butler, Butler in the centre now, from out the back lines, comes out, goes forward, goes over the top, We've got hanging on yeah, here, I'd say. I reckon it might be a hang on here, so Simmons will get it. So it must have just been a bit of a wrap up there before he uh, went to the ball because the whistle yeah, was pretty quick. We didn't see it while well, we were looking at the, the picture on the screen here, so we didn't see on that what it was. But uh, so Simmons now has go for his second. Kick one in the second quarter. It hasn't really done much there, he hasn't kicked any points, so yeah, we quite, missed any, hasn't quiet he? day for him, isn't it? Mm, what's he doing here? I reckon he's probably got Up one on looks the board good. now. Do you want instant cash? Drop off your deposit bottles and cans and scrap metal today at South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots in Victor Harbour, Goolwa and Yankalilla. South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots offer undercover drop-off facilities and the Goolwa Depot is open seven days a week. To see opening times, the latest prices and the items that can be dropped off for recycling, visit southcoastrecycle.com.au said it's uh, certainly been all, all that end. There's those dark clouds down there for you too, Kevy. So they're sort of starting to come around we'll be a bit. home by the time they come. Oh, you reckon? <laughs> yeah, they come this far. Way these guys are going, we could be the lights on. Back in the centre. Umpire Rice throws it up. Trelaw can't get to it. It comes back down. Goes over. Picks up there quickly by McKinnon. McKinnon goes out, finds his player out there and wheeze. Wheeze steps inside. Goes up, goes forward. And he finds his player there. I reckon that one there. Barillo is under it here. Yep, Barillo yeah. now picks the ball up, left foot, pumps it up into full forward, up the top, goes over the back for overall, gets out there, O'Grady for Stratho, gets it, comes out there, goes over there, can't pick it up, Elms, Elms steps back inside, well, no, goes around, you. goes around onto that, he goes through no. and turn around, puts it through, so number 16, Jackson Elms. Let's talk about your new shed. You want it tough. You want it to look good. You want it to last for years. You want Shedex Flurio, the experts in design and construct. If you can dream the shed, they can build the shed. Dream it, design it, build it with Shedex Flurio. From initial design through to finished construction, your project is in trusted hands with Shedex Flurio. Quality workmanship and experience you can trust. Shedexflurio.com.au. It goes on Wednesday. Yeah. yeah, so that'll be interesting, won't it? Yep. Yeah, as I said, it starts getting later and later now, isn't it, doesn't it? So, leap year comes up and it throws it out to a Friday then. So. Yeah, yeah well, Wednesday's right in the middle of the week. So. Yeah. Back in the centre now. Alex, the umpire, has the ball, throws it up. Ruckman go up. None of them gets it again. Comes out there by Wilk. Wilk for Strath goes up. Riley gets it for them. Goes forward. Goes up. Clamp goes off, comes off ground, reds up, hands out there, goes quickly around, 
That one there was good. I reckon who was that one there that goes? The umpire says a goal. I'm not sure where that was. Beachside Bedding next to Habra Pharmacy is your local sleep specialist, featuring SA made bedding from Sealy, AH Beard, and Adriatic Slumber. Mary and her team at Beachside Bedding also offer a beautiful range of locally made Flurio furniture. Beachside Bedding offers free delivery and old mattress removal, and is open Monday to Saturday at 295 Port Elliot Road, Habra. Always competitive on price with real product knowledge. Beachside Bedding. Just a procession of goals now. Yeah. Yeah, we've got eight minutes gone, so still got a long way to go, Kevy. We have got a long way to go. Yeah, I think it's been a while since we've seen a scoreboard looking like this. It has happened, but we haven't been at them, so. No. I would have thought this one would have been a lot closer. Anyway, the umpire throws the ball up again in the centre. Down it goes. It looked like he got grabbed by the collar and he got thrown it out. Anyway, out he comes, back into it they go, and that's a great Grady. that's got it down there. He kicks the ball, and the ball is pushed out over the boundary line by the players running towards it. And the umpire will come and throw it in. Yes, yeah, not a bad sort of day for footy today, Trev. Yeah, yeah, they can't complain. The wind's only just a breeze there. It is cool, but if you run around, you don't notice that. So. Tony Eden, he, he's still got his shorts on. I don't know where he's been. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the ball goes around, comes out. Victor now come out, comes out through McKinnon. McKinnon gets himself going, goes out. Big kick now up the forward lines, goes over the back. Spoil comes late off of there through uh, Elms. Elms goes over, gets the ball, looks inside, kicks it up over, up it goes, finds his player coming through in Ross. Well, left footer. Yeah. Can get it from there. I just wonder he hasn't stood up and had an argument with him because he's, every time he's been spoiled around the head and the packs, he's uh, got aggro. So he must be over it by now. So he stands up. It's going to be probably a 45 degree angle. Probably only going to kick from 30. But he's kicking to the non-scoring end. <laughs> the one that's not getting a hammering. So in he comes, drives this ball up, up. The umpire's looking. Umpire goes back. He looks happy. Signals out. There it goes. Don't be the next victim of a home invasion. Pull over. Let's rub this joint. Great Southern Security will install a home security system with monitored alarm to protect your home or business. They also provide CCTV, mobile patrols, cash transit, event security and a text and tag service. Looks like this place has got its own secretary. What do you mean secretary? That sign. You idiot, that's security. This place has got an alarm. Visit greatsouthernsecurity.com.au yeah, they were trying to get a new one too, but uh, it happens or not, it's another thing. Umpire tosses the ball up again in the centre. Up it goes. Ball's pushed down. Here's a chance for a counter bay. Oh, not for a counter bay, for Victor. You get rid of it. They do. Good hand pass goes to the player running straight down the centre of the ground. And Basham's under the ball. Can't mark it this time, but I don't think it's going to matter much because there's a goal there to... Number 14? Nah, 16 Elms 15, again. FP Ag, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FP Ag Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sale options and they also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag, with five fully stocked branches across the Florio. They're in your field. Back in the centre immediately here now. 15 goals ahead. Up they go. Goes in the centre. Trelaw gets it. Comes back down. Butler put it in. He's getting a few kicks now. He's coming yeah. into the centre from the back lines. So he goes forward. Goes up and down. Double grab out there. It goes to Mark Elliott. So Mark Elliott's moved into forward lines. Goals are coming easy now. Yep. So he will kick, I would suggest, from outside the 50. He's certainly gone back away. 
She comes in there as a 50, so yeah, she's kicking Bursi on the 50 metre arc. He goes out, umpire's looking reasonably happy, goes back over, all clears given, and the umpire stares for a long time and says, goal. With over 180 years of farming family know-how behind us, Pro Stock Livestock will help you with all your livestock needs. Pro Stock will get you the best price for your livestock when buying or selling, and will even help you muster and transport them. Wherever you are across the Flurio Peninsula or anywhere in South Australia, we'll offer you the highest quality professional yet personal service. So give Pro Stock Livestock a call to discuss your needs today. Visit us online at prostock.com.au. Players come out and I looked at it and I thought, phew, seems to be a very young side. I couldn't see what all the big hype was to start with. So, uh, but you know, they've still got their nucleus of players there, but uh, yeah. It's, uh, a lot of players have, have come through the through the grades there, but uh, yeah. a few. They've few only got one, one senior colt, he's a minus one, that Hoffman, so, so the others must be aged, so. Oh, it tosses the ball up again, up it goes. Strath Alvin get it, get it out of the centre. Down it goes, down there through Kendi Kenning. And Kenning's kick now was picked up by well, his teammate, anyway, from the kick back. And Strath Alvin will get another shot in, and the player there was a little bit behind the play was uh, Mark Elliott, and he couldn't mark it. And here's a chance now for... Free kick to Victor, I'd say, looking at that. Over there, he'd be looking, Elms. looking straight into the sun, wouldn't he, when he looks across here. What are they trying to do? They're trying to kick up the goals for Victor as well. Anyway, Victor player there has marked it in the goal square, kicked it down, Barillo's taking the mark about centre half forward, and down it goes, and Strath Alvin now can come back, put the ball right back into that forward line again. And that was Clamp. I reckon yep. they kicked the ball off the ground. It's gone no. off the ground, and that is a another one there for Clamp, and that's his fourth goal. Do you want instant cash? Drop off your deposit bottles and cans and scrap metal today at South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots in Victor Harbour, Goolwa and Yankalilla. South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots offer undercover drop-off facilities and the Goolwa Depot is open seven days a week. To see opening times, the latest prices and the items that can be dropped off for recycling, visit southcoastrecycle.com.au. In any quarter, so it just goes to show you that, you know, Victor, really, you know, like, how do you get to so much interest in it, do you? No. When it's gone like this here, we got ourselves 15, well, we got five, 15 minutes gone, so still a long way well, to Victor, go. We wait for the final siren, yep. though, don't they? Up in the centre it goes. They can't win by more. They clash <laughs> each other, umpire, the ruckman goes, and nothing comes out of it. Victor now, go forward, in the back, he's into there. Perks up there. Ross has got cold play on now, steps around, kicks it all up forward, goes out, Basham's in charge here, spoil from behind. Goes up, comes out, comes over to Butler. Butler goes out over to O'Grady. O'Grady goes out, turns around, can't get to the toes there of his player there, and that was Noski. Noski finally gets the ball out, hanging on to Clamp. Turns around, goes over, comes out through there, through um, Elms. Elms goes over. Strath trying to come back into this, picked up there. Goes over there, Duffield. Duffield gets to Clamp. Clamp goes forward, and he finds Elliot. Elliot goes out, puts this ball up, and he goal, misses. No, nope. he missed, he? misses. So Elliot One got point. himself a minor score. So they go now to 10 goals, 8 on the FPA scoreboard to 23-11, isn't it? Yep, 13-3 they got the lead back to now. Which is still a good, a good lead up, isn't it? Yep. From the kick in Clamp. now, I reckon the ball's been marked by... Strath Alvin. Clamp, yep. Clamp will have another shot in for goal. And the breeze, of the flag stand there a little bit more, but it's not going to give him much distance. In, I don't think, in there. They fly high for it. Victor's got hold of it. And Clamp will probably get it again. And he does. Takes a mark again for almost the same spot. Decides he couldn't kick it last time, so he hand passes it off to his teammate out there. And he didn't make much better go of it either. 
And finally now it's left to Victor. They'll run down the ground with it out here. Overall's got it. Oh, he's got a player out here by himself by a mile. If we can get it to it, which he will, it's gone to Jesse McKinnon. And McKinnon's kicked it in here looking for... Well, the player there from Strath Alvin's run off him. Well, he's not that new player out the ground, is it? <laughs> but it's been marked out there by Clamp. Clamp's got hold of it and he kicks it in to the full forward running out after it out there and he'll get it before it goes across the boundary line or will he? No, he probably has. Picked up by his Victor and they get it across to a teammate down the ground and Victor Harbour now, it's almost a game in slow motion, isn't it? I think the players are getting pretty tired out there at the moment, especially the Strathalban ones and the ball's on the ground and the umpire, he's getting tired too. <laughs> he's going to come and throw it up. Mm -hmm. So Dennis Rice throws it up again. Up it goes. Quick kick out of the pack by McKinnon, and there's a hanging in the ruck. Simmons is free. Simmons could almost get this. Don't think so. Not the way he's kicked. He's, he's a good kick of the ball. Two right? goals, yeah, but he just doesn't seem to be right, does he? Not coming he's off the boot like they used to. No. Probably because he's getting older, Trip. Could be. <laughs> yeah. That happened to you? No. <laughs> Never used to get kicks. <laughs> In he comes. He kicks outside 50. There it goes. He's got a fair leg into that. The umpire God looks through, and says, it? touched. He's called a touch. So. Touch, says he? Yep. There's another, another minor score to Strath. They go to 10 goals 9 now to 23 goals 11. 19 minutes gone, Kevy. The ball gets go. It comes back into Vic. Victor. It goes back over there. Comes out into there in the arms of uh, Cooper. Cooper now brings the ball through up the forward flank. Comes out into the wing. Goes over. Oh, well, hit over the on. top. Straight onto the air. He goes into 21. Yeah. He's got him for a throw. Oh, I can't see. Yeah. put a throw on that. No, I reckon he jumped in the air and tapped it. So. Yeah. It comes back to Strath. Strath play on now. Gets over there. This is uh, Matchin. Marchin puts the ball up for Strath, up the forward flank. Clamp can't take it. Comes out the back, goes over. Clamp gets it now. Swings around. Drives this ball up, right up into full forward position. One on one. Goes over the back. Mark Elliott can't get it. Comes up. Victor, get the ball. Handball's off. Goes over. Finds Ross. Ross goes out and finds his player out there. And I reckon that was Kleinick. Goes over. Comes back in there now to Brook. Brook steps around, goes around, comes around quickly here to uh, Neville. Neville goes up, finds his player here in Miller. Miller for Victor, drives up now, goes up, up the back out there. Can't take it, Elms. Comes back down, handball over there quickly by Fletcher. Fletcher goes over, we've got a whistle. It could be late, I reckon. And turn around, Barillo once more. When you're a little fella, you cop it, don't you? Yep. <laughs> So, Barilla, recipient of the free kick. Too high, I would say, and it's on the forward flank. Wanted to handball off, well, but he not I don't think he wants to kick it. No. Well, maybe you that's the reason why, why that. he's kicked it out on the foot. Uh, yeah. He's actually not a greatest uh, kicker anyway, is he? No. He tried down at south down there and uh, went off. It gets plenty of run and plenty of kick, but uh, skills are just off the boots, just down a bit. Strath bring the ball back. Up they go, I'm to here. Over the back goes up, turns around, gets wrapped up, and the umpire's going to have to come in on the forward flank. Victor Harbour, club room sides attacking zone. Over to you, Cabby. Yes, the umpire will throw it up right in front of us. Up they go. The ball now is on the ground going over there towards the boundary line, and it won't stay in be pushed across the boundary line and out of bounds. And is it getting late? <laughs> Three minutes after quarter two, 40, 4.47. Umpire throws the ball in. In it goes. That's a good throw in. Got a good That'd action good. there to yeah. get it in. And the ball now goes over to Strath. Kicked along the ground. Strath Alvin got it. Can they do anything with it? <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, one there to um, Simmons, but he couldn't do anything with it. Bowling them. They're having a bit of a 
disagreement with it about it themselves and the ball will be thrown up. Up it goes. Ball kicked out of the pack, goes along the on the ground, but it's gone out here Duffield. now to Duffield. Stafford. Stafford gets it over the top to Stafford. Hoffman. And I think the boundary line will be That's too close. Be Down there to be untouched. And they'll get a free kick back. And Victor do. Back it goes. They go across goals with it. Maybe it might go the other way now. Daniel Stock. And Stock's got it. Yeah, well, he had it. Had it. And it goes in the middle there to... Fletcher, Fletcher, Ryan Fletcher, and Fletcher is looking for another teammate. Finds him down the ground a bit down there. Overall, and overall he's away from home. He's yeah, he's been having a run on the ball, rocking. Get, getting cold down there in that forward line. Back to Mutch, and gone. Which is Rice Mutch. He's now called to play on. Goes off that back flank. Comes up the forward flank for there. Up, up they go, and it's a mark to Strathalbyn and Simmons. So, they turn around. He's on the back flank, almost buddy, back into the pocket. Turns up. It's no big, no big rush for him to get it out. He knows this is all finished. Goes down to the wing now, scoreboard side. Finds his player and spots him up out there. Goes in, goes in there, goes up, goes around. He finds his player further afield. Goes off, drives this one right up in the full forward. Out the top, goes over the back, comes off hands, turned around, picked up there by Victor. Victor, rappel out again, goes over the top, picked up there by um, Mark Tucker. Tucker messes it all up. Strathow and make a mess of this, goes over. Fletcher can't get it. Bang! That one's high. Bit high, yeah. So it turns got around. His arm around his shoulder. Yep. So Rice Mutch went too high there. Handball's off, goes over to O'Grady. O'Grady kicks forward. Oh. Victor dropped the ball off the chest. He gets wrapped up. He's had an opportunity. Should really go on to that one. Dropped it, recovered Miller. it, had the opportunity, but the tackle come in from Mark Elliott, and it'll be a ball up right and full forward. Up they go, slapped out by Trelaw. Butler goes so in, raise the tackle. Victor gets rid of it, and I think he'll go for holding the ball. That one was against Jess McKinnon, and Butler will get himself a shot at goal. Well, he screamed for the last two from... Uh, well, McKinnon takes a bit of stopping. Gee, he's a solid lad now. Yeah, but uh, Riley Clamp, he asked for two of them off of Riley Clamp last time he's at him, so he's finally having a set shot, and we'll see how he can do. Riley might stand next to him if he misses this and said, now you know why I didn't give it to you. So <laughs> yeah. Butler comes in. straight through the middle yep. too. Left footer, drives oh, up. Well, Guess what? Right. Guess what? Riley's over there. <laughs> Riley's over there saying, you <laughs> silly man, get to the back lines. <laughs> Another point. That's 10 goals. 10 goals 10, is it? Might be 10, 10, 10, 10, yeah. 10, 10 to 23. 23, 11. 11. Well, they've evened the points up. That's what they yeah, say. Yeah. Oh, not quite. There's one point behind. They've got to even the points, then you go for the goals, don't you? That's what they say if you're behind. Yeah, well, well that's... Kicks it back in, comes out the wing up to the flank here, goes over, gets out on there. Uh, overall had a handballs off, the running players coming through now, goes out through there, and that one there was Miller. Miller gets out, goes forward, finds his player inside there, that's Tom Neville. Neville goes up forward now, comes back down, Barilla gets it. Barilla he goes up, one. he's got himself, the umpire comes back, he's happy, and there it is, there's a goal to... Let's talk about your new shed. You want it tough. You want it to look good. You want it to last for years. You want Shedex Flurio, the experts in design and construct. If you can dream the shed, they can build the shed. Dream it, design it, build it with Shedex Flurio. From initial design through to finished construction, your project is in trusted hands with Shedex Flurio. Quality workmanship and experience you can trust. Shedexflurio.com.au I've got 22, 27 minutes gone. Yeah, it'll be at least that much because there's a fair bit of scoring in this last quarter. There's one, two, three. Nine goals. Anyway, back in the centre, up for the ruck. <laughs> Take it down there by Simmons. Simmons. Simmons kicks it down to the forward lines and the ball's 
kicked out off the ground now by Victor, and they can get right down the ground with it if they're lucky. You know, they're not. The ball did not go to Barilla. I thought, well, he's on. Well, he might have ended up with a, another one, but Mark's been taken over there by Strath. Strath. I have a shot in front of goal, and that Stafford. one's gone to Jake Stafford. Picked the goal a while ago in the second quarter. Well, no, That's a good pass. Oh, kick it to Victor Straight player Victor for. player. I forgot what colours he wears. Mitchell Brook. God, he was the only one near it. Now yeah. the ball's gone He further. comes out yeah. and finds the Harry Vincent. So Victor in their back pocket, club room side. Brings this ball out, goes up, overall, can't get it, comes off, Duffield gets it, messes it up, goes over, yeah, then he gets tackled. Duffield. He turns around, gets up onto it, and she'll be a, a ball up at the forward flank, just wing side. For Strathalbum, up it goes, comes down, Tucker gets it, comes come out, Butler gets it, he goes over, over the top, finds his player through there in... Uh, well, uh, sorry, in uh, Godfrey. Godfrey, Godfrey yeah. goes out and finds himself a clamp. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the last kick of the day. There you go. Call, call for it. So Clamp's got himself four so far. Kick from this one. He's gone outside the 50, so it'd be the distance. Kicked 4-3, so he hasn't been purely accurate, but uh, still to the better of the uh, uh, ledger on it. As he comes in, he'll kick some inside the 50. No, just on it. So he goes up, puts it all up. Goal umpire looks, looks, looks. That's Tom off the grands and still in play. Turns around, gets tackled, and it goes over the boundary line for a minor score. So Strathalbyn go to 10-11. They've even the points up 24-11 to Victor Harbour on the FPAG scoreboard. Uh, Victor Harbour got to run down the ground with it. He ran his distance. Gets a hand pass across to a teammate Barilla. there, and Barillo's got it. Kicks it uh, down, finds his teammate out there, gets a hand pass Sacked across, Allen. and Vincent. Vincent, Harry Vincent's got hold of it, and he'll kick it further down, but he kicks it straight to the opposition. That's oh, 25. and he's got to get 20. Yeah. 25 metres. Tried to push the player off, made contact with the ball, knocked it out. 25. Well, I'll leave the player, just let it go. But <laughs> yeah, but he, he still pushed the ball over. <laughs> that was up to him to let it go, wasn't it, if he wanted to? Yeah. No need to. He deserves it. And now Strath get it back into the, almost into the centre, down there through Hodson. Hodson. And Hodson kicks it across the ground, and it's gone over there to O'Grady. O'Grady. Almost kicks it to Victor Tucker. Harbour player to Tucker, but anyway goes. Here's a Nisbet. chance now, and the ball's gone over the top. Oh, there's Strath players everywhere over there. They've only got to kick it in. Look at how many of them down there. Four, four, and they hit the, the post. post. <laughs> oh, oh, there was four of them there. They could have walked in just about, handballing the ball to each other, and get a goal out of it. They didn't. So it goes to ten goals, twelve now for Strath. 24-11 by Victor. Certainly is. It's, uh, FPA scoreboard on that one. So we go around. Well, we're certainly going. We're getting. Uh, we're going. 30. We got 26. 20. We got 31 minutes gone. So we turn around. We wait for it. Yeah, you're right there. Yep. So ball gets returned to the boundary umpire. Both these boundary umpire lads can go further. They, they could probably get up into there. There goes the siren, I'd say, because the lad's bouncing the ball, putting it away. Well, they can't. So, they can't blow the siren while it... Well, they're working out who's going to have the kick. No, it wasn't working out. The boundary throw in, so... Turns around, Yeah, but so, the until the boundary umpire... Yeah, OK. Yeah. Here we can do anything. Yeah, so, it turns around, so... Like. Anyhow, so, final scores here. And they're taking it straight down, Cabby. The boys want to get out of there quick, Well, it looks like it. Um, oh, what so, was it. Yeah, so now we're going to have to go up. And the TV's going off, off and on, off and on. So I don't know what's happening there. Must be Steve up the top. He must want to get away he too. He wants so. to get away, yeah. We all want to get away. So we've got... Uh, so Victor Harbour, we finished up with... Uh, well, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, fact, seven, eight, nine, ten. The scores ten. were taken off the scoreboard before yeah. the sirens stopped sounding. <laughs> Gee. 
So we had 10, 12, I reckon, was uh, Strathalbyn to Victor Harbour was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You've got to add one or two to that. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 23, 24, which sounds about right. Yeah. I reckon they were about 24, 12, so 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So the final score here, folks, after the scoreboard not putting them on, is Victor Harbour 24-11 to Strathalbyn 10-12. We're getting some scores coming in from around, so whilst Kevin gets them, I'll give the goal kickers. For Strathalbyn, we have Riley Clamp with four, uh, Ben Simmons with two, singers to Mark Elliott, Lachlan Fox, uh, Fletcher Duffield and Jake Stafford. For Victor Harbour, we have uh, Sam Overall with five, Michael Ross with four, uh, Jackson Elms with three, Daniel Stock with two, Sam Basham with four. Uh, we had two uh, unaccounted for, we can't, don't know who they were. Uh, Hewitt with one, uh, Zachary Dowling with one, Harry Vincent with one, and Lachlan Barillo with one. So that gives us the scores under there, and we go around onto it. So if Kevy's chasing down these scores, like I said, this was just one side of game from the beginning. When you looked at the scores through the quarters here for uh, Victor, they had an eight gold lead at quarter time, never looked back on it after that, and they turned around and they just waltzed out again in the third quarter, which opened the game up. And uh, we said before to make up ten, uh, eight, eight goals in one quarter uh, to your zero is very hard, and that proved really impossible for Strath, who surprised me. Like I said, they beat my Ponga Selix until we see every game play, and you don't know what goes on. But uh, and then they beat Langhorns Creek, but uh, they have certainly looked a bit ordinary. Perhaps the Tuesday night's game is not good for them. We've discussed before that. Uh, Perhaps that might be a one they'll look at, that they'll, uh, they might play that. Uh, hopefully that the round uh, being on Wednesday uh, looks going to be pretty awkward for them to play on, do So what have we got there, Kevy? You're still trying to add yeah, them all up? Get them all over the place. And yeah, they should come it. through onto us to here. So, uh, um, yeah, I've got them, fellas, if you, uh, if you want to get them. Yeah, I'm one. just writing the last one down there. Okay, mate. Yeah, Yank I've got them here and I've got here, Yank, so... Yank three, Yank three goals, eight to yep, Mount yep. Compass, 16 goals, four. And then we go up the top. Langhorn Creek, 13-11 to McLaren Districts, 14-14. My Ponga Selix, 15-12 to Goolwa Port Elliot, 5-7. Of course, the Victor one here, 24-24. Goals 11 to Victor Harbour, Strathalbyn 10-12, Wollonga 10-16, and Counter Bay 5 goals 9, and Yankalilla 3 goals 8, Mount Compass 16 goals 4. Yeah, well, the one that surprised me there is Wollonga kicking 10-16 to the Bays 5-9, and yet the Bays were only 2 or 3 goals, so... Yeah, you know, Wollonga haven't kicked on with that one, which is a uh, surprise. No, they haven't. I mean, no, since half time, they've got uh, three goals, seven. Yeah, yeah, they've uh, they've kicked uh, really bad there. But uh, yeah, so that's the wrap ups round. Uh, that was round four we got here, isn't it? Three round three. three. Round three. So round four, we'll uh, we'll head through to. Uh, we we'll reckon we'll go through to McLaren next week see the top side they just got home well I don't know will we because uh, oh, Strath. Strath. Yeah. I think we'll, we'll, think we'll think about that we might have to think about that one because that's uh, yeah that's uh, unless Strath drastically improved we can't see that uh, being close one no, so we we'll have to get back to you we'll talk to them about that off air and see what goes on with the others but that's the wrap up for round three here this is 90.1 happy FM great southern footy match of the round on air and YouTube this has been a presentation from Victor Harbour's 90.1 
HappyFM。